can support us, completed Novel House in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story, chapter 81. Temporary work, because it was summer harvest, what they ate was relatively simple, but absolutely nutritious. They had spring pancakes. The spring pancakes were all packaged up and brought over by Lin Ching, he, from home. Small pieces of meat, diced mushrooms, fried leeks with eggs, and her specially made tomato sauce and seasonal veg were all wrapped inside. The taste was particularly exquisite and delicious. Along with this was soup. Lin Ching, he had brought bowls, one for each person. After eating they rested. Then chomped another fresh tomato, the taste was perfect. The food on this side was definitely the best in the village. The old Zhou family had no way to compete. Second sister-in-law watched the family of five over their eating spring cakes, especially on the bountiful fillings. The smell could drift over here. Eat so well, why doesn't she bring some over to father and mother? Second sister-in-law grumbled as she chewed on her pancake. They already separated. Eat yours. Mother Zhou shoot a glance at second daughter-in-law, who clearly wanted to stir trouble. With these words, it got second sister-in-law to shut up. But she was greatly discontent on the inside. Lin Qing, he didn't stay long. She rubbed a layer of sunscreen on Zhou Qing Bai, De Hua, and Er Hua. This was what she got while she collected her supplies. Two big cans of it. It became handy at this moment. De Hua and Er Hua were better as they joined in for the fun of it. Lin Qing, he didn't stop it, but everyone must wear a hat. Zhou Qing Bai was the main force. He sunburned till he was red. Lin Qing, he's heart felt unbearable at the sight. You don't have to apply this on me. Zhou Qing Bai said. I don't have much left here, only a few applications left. Lin Qing, he stated. Zhou Qing Bai's brows softened at this. Rest B.A. Lin Qing, he said. Zhou Qing Bai nodded, led De Hua and Er Hua to drowse. Lin Qing, he packed her things and took San Hua home. It was really hot today, like a fire. But on such an important day, no one can escape it. They have to go to the field and speedily harvest. Lin Qing He was lazy and never gone to the field, so everyone had accustomed it, feeling there was no reason to criticize. As soon as the horn sounded, Zhou Qing Bai and the rest went down to harvest the field again. De Hua, Er Hua, and the other children were better off, the requirements from them weren't big. They were responsible for picking weed ears in the field, which were calculated by weight for the work points. These children were quite hardworking. But no matter how energetic they were, at the end of the day, it was also very exhausting. When they returned home, Er Hua was laying on his father's back. Obviously, he was too tired. Lin Qing, he was startled, fearing he had a heat stroke, and declared, Tomorrow, Er Hua, don't go. No, I will go. Er Hua instantly replied. Not tired? Lin Qing, he eyed him. Not tired? Er Hua nodded. Judging by how he was, Lin Qing, he left him be. She reminded him, if you are tired immediately go to rest, understood? I know, I won't push myself. If I get heat stroke, it'll be painful. Erwa said. Other children had suffered heat stroke. Just watching how they vomited and had diarrhea, he felt uncomfortable. After eating a simple and nutritious dinner, Lin Qing, he brought out the completed mung bean soup and cooled it in the well water. This was rock sugar and mung bean soup, adjusted to mild sweetness, but it still tasted great. Lin Qing, he intends to feed the father and sons a few more times of mung bean soup. She scooped out two bowl amounts and got De Hua to send it to his grandpa and grandma. Lin Qing, he told Zhou Qing Bai, tomorrow I will add on mung bean soup for you. This is the best for cooling off the heat. Sure. Zhou Qing Bai agreed. Satisfied, Lin Qing, he continued, you're tired today too. Go rest. Zhou Qingbai shook his head, he wasn't that exhausted. 
He went to clean the pigsty but found that it was cleaned. It goes without saying, Lin Qing, he had tidied it. For this man, she made a sacrifice. I can tell you now, I'll do it for you this summer harvest, other times you can do it by yourself. Lin Qing, he stated. You don't have to do it, just wait for me to come back. Zhou Qing Bai stared at her. You're already that exhausted, I can't dump it all on you. Lin Qing, he pouted. Zhou Qing Bai's eyebrows were extremely soft, she could sense the sweetness in his eyes. This was rarely seen from this tough guy's gaze. Go to rest. Lin Qing, he waved. Soon De Wa came back. This kid was worn out from today too, so Lin Qing, he gave the brothers a bath and sent them to the Kong to play. She gave them mung bean soup at 6.30 in the evening. Can't say it was super chill, but it was still cooled by the well water. Plus with the addition of rock sugar, the sweetness was fulfilling to drink. From the next day onward, Lin Qing, he delivered mung bean soup at approximately 10 a.m. Of course, she prepared a share for Father Zhou and Mother Zhou. As for the others, Lin Qing, he couldn't be bothered to care. As anticipated, second sister-in-law wasn't short on sour words, remarking that the adults can go without, but how can the children not have some? Eldest sister-in-law took care of the children while cooking at home, and third sister-in-law came to work. Because eldest sister-in-law had only given birth for two or three months, she didn't have to take part in such bustling actions. She was in charge of the family's food and took care of the babies at home. This time eldest sister-in-law also gave birth to a son. Lin Qing, he wasn't stingy at that time. She gave her two trotters to stew with peanuts to eat, which was great for breast milk. Third sister-in-law was dead on her feet, but she didn't pay any heed to second sister-in-law's words. They had already separated out. Lin Qing, he, this fourth sister-in-law, could give the elders a mouthful, and that was all there was to it. The rest wanted to eat her family stuff? Impossible. Mother Zhou had instructed eldest sister-in-law when she came back that day to cook some mung bean soup at this side and get fourth's wife to deliver it together. Second sister-in-law began mumbling again, are you two old ones afraid of eating fourth's family to poverty? This time, third sister-in-law didn't hold back and told eldest sister-in-law about it. Ching, he had father and mother drink some, she was dissatisfied and said she didn't prepare for the children. Now mother told you to make it for the whole family, she's still not pleased. All day long, she complained these behind her back. Third sister-in-law vented. Who would deny that? I heard Tao Zi's mother mentioned it the day before yesterday that Wang Ling wanted to mock Qing He, but Qing He had her grudgingly return home. Wang Ling has a good relationship with her. Eldest sister-in-law's mouth also twitched. That's a long-tongue woman. I can hear her splurting things everywhere I go, third sister-in-law remarked in despise. Don't bother with it, at most, she'll only dare to talk about it privately. If she got the ability to go to talk about it in front of Ching He's face, see if Ching He will spare her. Eldest sister-in-law concluded. Third sister-in-law had nothing else to say, this summer harvest was exhausting. Because summer harvest was a hectic time, Lin Ching He didn't go to the county city to sell pork. The pork that was collected every day was placed into the space. Once this was over, she'll go to the county city to get rid of it. Mei Jia was now out of work. Only then, Lin Qing, he knew that she was only a temporary worker before. No wonder the original owner had rarely seen Mei Jia before. Chapter 82 Nutritional Management, thankfully, she now had such a business. Although it was only once every three days, she can earn seven dimes each time. And it was ten times a month, so she can get seven yuans, which was also a considerable amount. Sometimes, when there was a lot, they can get almost ten genes of meat. In addition to giving a dime, Lin Qing, he also gave Mei Jia some food stamps, which were all exchanged from those old madams in the county city. Totaling it all, it wasn't much worse than when she went to work. However, because of Mei Jia's connection, it was very easy for Lin Qing, he, to buy something out of stock in the supply and marketing cooperative. 
For example, there were three jars of honey stored at home, which was gained through Magia's connection. The honey at this time was really pure wild honey. Lin Qing, he bought a jar of winter honey last year. It solidified like a lump of oil similar to lard. She had finished it in one winter, as she had to drink one cup of honey water before going to bed every day. She would drink it herself, the children didn't need to drink it yet. Zhou Qingbai didn't have a share, at that time he didn't have any importance in her heart yet. However, since that marital obligation, cough, and she cared about him. So the nightly honey water included Zhou Qingbai's share now. Zhou Qingbai said he does not need it. He didn't like to drink these pure sweet things. But his wife had him drink, so even if he didn't like it, he had to drink it. Lin Qing, he felt great drinking this honey water. The health benefits of drinking this for a long time were self-evident. It was essential for Zhou Qingbai to drink it. He had to do farm work every day. Even though she made three healthy meals a day, it was not enough nourishment. So Lin Qing, he tried hard to manage it for him. Seven days after the summer harvest began, Lin Qing, he slaughtered a chicken at home. Since raising it in spring, it was now one gene or so. One of them became unwell during the period, so there were five left. There were still four left after the slaughtering. They were still over the limit. This chicken wasn't eaten just like that. Lin Qing, he also pre-ordered a pork stomach from Meijia's pig farm. She washed the pork stomach, cooked it and cut it. Then it was stewed with the chicken as well as a sprinkle of sesame seeds. It was a pot of sesame, pork stomach, and chicken. The taste was definitely aromatic. In the evening, the father and sons ate the sesame pork stomach and chicken served with whole grain mantu. Although the kids didn't like to eat this kind of mantu very much, Lin Qing, he would still make it occasionally. Must eat, even when they don't want to. They can't always eat fine cuisine all the time. The chicken drum was divided between de Wa and Er Wa. Lin Qing, he expressed that the chicken drum would be eaten in turns. This time, she let them two eat first. Next time, it will be them, husband and wife's turn. When Sanwa gets bigger and know how to eat, he'll join in the queue. De Wa and Er Wa agreed. Lin Qing, he grabbed a chicken wing and let San Hua chew on it. The rest was Zhou Qing Bai's. But the only drinking soup and avoiding meat her was pushed by Zhou Qing Bai to feed on a chicken wing. A summer harvest took about half a month. Although the summer harvest wasn't as tiring as the autumn harvest, it must be said that it was still hard work ah. Eldest brother, second brother, and third brother all slimmed down. Father Zhou and Mother Zhou were tormented a good bit as well. They had copied Fourth's wife's mung bean soup, so they did not have heat stroke. Truthfully, the mung bean soup's taste can't be compared with Lin Qinghe, as eldest sister-in-law didn't add in sugar. Also, old Zhou's family's food wasn't as good as this side. After such a summer harvest, Zhou Qingbai was just worn out. As for slimming down or other aches, were non-existent. Same for Dewa and Erwa. Their bodies were excellent. Once the summer harvest was over, Lin Qing, he puffed out in relief. There was a new round of farm work afterward, but at least, they can always go home and take a rest at noon. Unlike the summer harvest, where 30 minutes was given for meal. After eating, only a little more than 10 minutes were left to nap before they had to head down to the field again. This was draining to death. Zhou Qingbai helped Lin Qing, he get all the learning materials she wanted. Although she hadn't been studying for many years, it wasn't difficult to pick it up again now. Zhou Qingbai had his education in the organization. Lin Qing, he read it herself, on some parts, she deliberately pretended to ask him. It was mostly to reveal her progress in her studies so that he did not have any doubts. Like this, he was witnessing her progress? On the surface, Zhou Qingbai was calm, but he was surprised in his heart because he found that his wife's learning process was really fast. Sometimes he heard her murmur in dreams at night. Those murmurs were reciting the texts. Too dumbfounding. 
After this summer harvest, food distribution, Lin Qinghe's family got a lot allocated to them. Zhou Qingbai received 10 work points, his share, naturally bountiful. In addition, there were two pigs at home. From the beginning of May, Dewa carried a basket of pigweed every day to exchange for the work point. Lin Qing, he went back to gather pigweed too, but hers was taken home for the pigs at home. But because of this, her family got a lot distributed to them a lot this time. At least this time, it wasn't necessary to buy food. Lin Qing, he pulled some out of the space, and it was mostly sufficient. As for the two huge pigs at home, it was raised excellently. Mother Zhou was very surprised when she came over to check last time. She didn't mention it outside. Lin Qing, he told her not to say anything. There were excess chickens in the backyard. Wait for the remaining chicken to be slaughtered and it'll be fine to talk about it. If the village branch secretary wants to come over to observe it, it was no problem, but for now, it wasn't possible. Grain had been harvested for almost half a month, and a new round of seeds had been planted before the weather turned gloomy. Then it began to rain. Even Zhou Qingbai had a happy face because it saved a lot of effort. No need to manually water, and it was almost God was providing a meal for them. Lin Qing, he studied at home, the brothers as well. Although it was seven years away from the reintroduction of the college entrance examination, she was bored, might as well do it. Initially, she wanted to make some clothes, but reconsidered. The whole family basically had three or four sets of clothes to wear. In this era, it was definitely plentiful. Once the rain stopped, second brother and third brother came over to call Zhou Qing Bai. They wanted to capture rice field eel and loach. Zhou Qingbai grabbed a bucket and followed them. Zhou Dewa and Zhou Erhua immediately declared they were following. Sanhua also wanted to go. Lin Qing, he turned to Zhou Qingbai. Zhou Qingbai approved, let's all go. So the three brothers were overjoyed, got off the Kong, and headed out with their father. Lin Qing, he continued to study on her own. Third sister-in-law brought Zhou Dong Dong over for a visit. When she saw that she was studying and reading, she was surprised, are you studying by yourself? The most difficult part, i.e. Zhou Qing Bai, was passed. Toward other people like third sister-in-law, Lin Qing, he didn't care what they thought. Aren't we quite free now? Staying at home is also staying, so I asked Qing Bai to bring me some books to read. Lin Qing, he explained. Chapter 83 Huge Watermelon, You Wrote These Words? Third sister-in-law swiftly flipped through some. With a shocked expression, she uttered to her fourth sister-in-law. The font was beautiful, really well written. I wrote it casually. Lin Qing, he laughed, those were her written notes that were already revised. Others were jotted down silently after memorizing the text. I didn't know you could write so well. So awesome. Third sister-in-law couldn't resist admiring her. As third sister-in-law had partaken in a literacy class for a while, the words she knew were very limited, let alone written. Previously, my academic record was good. However, I had no choice. My family won't let me study, instead, let my white-eyed wolf second brother studied. Lin Qing, he said. Males were being prioritized over females was a common phenomenon found in many parts of the rural area in the country. But it's useless to study now. Third sister-in-law remarked. I know it's useless, but it's good to read it. People who read more will be smart. Lin Qing, he responded. Third sister-in-law felt that her fourth sister-in-law wasn't clever for no reason. Look how studious she was. Even as a mother of three children, she didn't forget to study. Third sister-in-law, don't mention this outside. It's enough for me to look over by myself. If it gets out that I self-study at home, people will laugh. Lin Qing, he urged. I won't say. But loving to learn is a glorious matter, who would laugh at you? Third sister-in-law promised. Those petty-minded. Lin Qing, he smiled. Third sister-in-law recalled second sister-in-law's loudmouth face and was silenced. 
Lin Ching, he observed Zhou Dong Dong and grinned, Little Dong Dong grows so fast. Last year, he was only a little bit. This year, he can sit. Kids are like that. Wasn't Dewa the same? He has gotten a lot bigger this year, and those at his age in the village aren't as tall as him. Third sister-in-law commented. Lin Ching, he said with a laugh, he's very naughty. In the middle of his homework, he saw his father go fishing for eel and immediately ran off with his two younger brothers. After talking about the children for a while, they chat on other topics for a while. Then third sister-in-law took Zhou Dong Dong home. Of course, Lin Qing, he's reception toward her was good. She picked a few tomatoes, cut them on the plate, sprinkled with some sugar, and served with a toothpick to eat. This was a very good snack for hospitality. Zhou Qingbai took his three children out and returned almost in the evening. The brothers, including Zhou Qingbai, were all muddy. Lin Qing, he didn't care since the clothes were washed by Zhou Qingbai. It wasn't easy to dry this weather, but there were still spare clothes, so Lin Qing, he wasn't mad. If this she was to wash it, the brothers couldn't avoid a good yell. Zhou Qingbai brought back three big rice field eels and numerous loaches. During this season, whether it was rice field eel or loach, both were very fat. And the taste was also impeccable. The eel didn't need to sit in water first, while the loach needed to. So the eel was stewed straight away for dinner. Zhou Qingbai, who ate rice field eel, was a little stimulated. Afterward, Lin Qing, he suffered some good round of happiness issue. There was no other way, ah. This time was too long, so she sweated a lot. Sweating in this hot summer weather was uncomfortable. But when she complained, Zhou Qingbai had an innocent expression. He couldn't do anything if it took long. He just last that long. Lin Qing, he chuckled as she pulled his cheeks. It became more and more apparent that this man was black-bellied. Zhou Qingbai embraced his wife, filled with content. In the beginning, retiring halfway made him very lost, because he liked the force very much. That was his dream. He powerlessly pulled out halfway, so how could his heart feel comfortable? But now, he doesn't regret returning to a home like this at all. Holding his wife, Zhou Qingbai felt very satisfied with his current life. He even blamed himself for neglecting her. His wife was wonderful, super wonderful. Since he didn't cherish her before, he will treasure her even more in the future. Wife, let's do it again. Zhou Qingbai wanted to dote his wife again. Before Lin Qing, he had the chance to object. He pulled her into a new round of stormy waves and made her woke up late the next day. Although the summer was hot, the heating summer was also the beginning of fruit produce. A new round of work began after the rain stopped. Lin Qing, he brought Er Hua and San Hua along with her to County City as she rid of the meat stored in this period she had the two of them eat popsicles at the entrance of the mall and ordered Er Hua to take good care of San Hua. The two got a popsicle each. Erwa said that he remembers and won't lose sight of his brother. Lin Qing, he also knew he was intelligent, but he was still four years old. Lin Qing, he tied their brothers together with a rope at their waists. She instructed him to watch the bicycle and his brother before she rushed to sell pork. Due to worrying for the brothers, Lin Qing, he came back in half an hour later and was sweating all over. The brothers were sitting there obediently. Lin Qing, he was relieved, but at the same time, she couldn't help being distressed. Come, follow mother to the supply and demand cooperative. I'll buy you cans of malted milk powder. Lin Qing, he beckoned. Er Hua and San Hua saw her coming back and excitedly entered with their mother. The brothers were pretty. As for Lin Qing, he's aura and appearance, it was needless to say. So when the mother and sons came in, it had the salesperson's eyes lit up. Lin Qing, his handiwork was quite extraordinary, malted milk powder, white rabbit candy, red dates, dried dragon eyes, and the likes. Especially when she bought a six-pound big watermelon outright. These things had Er Hua and Sand Hua drooling. They had eaten everything else, so it wasn't anything unusual. 
but the big watermelon, they had never tried it before. Lin Ching, he didn't go straight away after buying these things. She brought Er Hua and San Hua to the mall to go shopping and bought some school supplies back. After these were bought, Lin Ching, he took her two sons and these materials back home. Mother, will you bring us next time? Both Er Hua and San Hua were in the front seats. The brothers were sitting on specially made children's seats, which were drawn by Lin Ching He and asked Zhou Qing Bai to find a carpenter to make them. Lin Ching He was not at ease when they were at the back as they were too small. I'll see how you brothers behave Lin Ching He raised an eyebrow. We'll all be obedient. Zhou Er Hua immediately superficially swore. Be good, eat watermelon. Zhou San Hua was pining for the watermelon. The mother and sons soon reached home. They didn't eat once they arrived, because Zhou Qingbai hadn't got off work yet, and Dewa hadn't finished school. Have to wait for them to come back before eating. Although it would be more pleasant to eat it after chilling in the well water, Lin Qing, he did not put it in the well water as the children were still young. Mother, do we have to wait for father and eldest brother to come back to eat? Erwa longingly looked at the big watermelon. Then if you aren't at home one day and there's tasty food, we'll eat it first, without waiting for you. Would you agree? Lin Qing, he raised an eyebrow. Er Hua shook his head and waited for their father and brother. San Hua was playing with the big watermelon on the cool mat. Since the big watermelon couldn't be eaten first, Lin Qing, he gave them a tomato each. Chapter 84 Can I tonight? De Hua got home first. Once he reached home, he grabbed a back basket and headed out to gather pigweed with his other small friends in the village. These can contribute to the work points. Dewa, who was conscious of being the second man in the family, would forage a basket of pigweed every day after school. He only had enough time to give the school bag to Er Hua to help him take it into the house and did not catch Er Hua saying that mother had bought a huge watermelon back, don't go out and get pigweed. The baby was very responsible, so Lin Qing, he doesn't govern him too much now. She let him decide on some things on his own. This was also to cultivate his independence. For dinner, it'll be a simple meal, stewed pork ribs with potatoes, a soup, and then cornmeal mantu. When Zhou Qingbai was off work, Dewa also returned. So they ate dinner first. As for the watermelon, it was a snack after a meal. Mother. Why are you willing to buy such a big watermelon? Dewa's eyes brightened. If I don't buy a big one, how can it be enough for our family to heartily feast on? Lin Qing, he said. Watermelon was one of her favorites. She had asked Zhou Qing Bai, Zhou Qing Bai liked to eat it. The six Jin watermelon was actually just right, not too much. What's more, they were still young now. When they get older, two was required to satisfy them all. After dinner, the brothers started rolling the watermelon. Dinner was at six. At seven, Lin Qing, he got Zhou Qing Bai to cut the watermelon and then divided it between them. Coincidentally, Mother Zhou came over and saw the family munching on the watermelon. She sighed at how shocking Fourth's family's life was. Such a life costs a lot of money. Sanhua, give a piece to your grandma. Lin Qing, he said. Sanhua grabbed a piece of watermelon and handed it to his grandma. Now, this little brat can understand people's words and can express himself clearly. Mother Zhou received it and mentioned, I just heard that your maternal family's third sister-in-law had given birth. Lin Qing, he froze for a moment, then her brain reacted, it was third brother Lin. When she went back before New Year, she didn't know that the third sister-in-law Lin was pregnant. Even though she didn't have a good impression of third sister-in-law Lin, she still liked third brother Lin very much. Must give Buddha face, even if one doesn't to the monk, so she nodded. I'll see how it is after my brother come over with happy news. The watermelon was very delicious. It tasted average in Lin Qing, he's opinion, while the children were obviously satisfied with it. Even Zhou Qing Bai also enjoyed it. Next time I go to the county city, I'll buy another one. 
Lin Qing, he promised. The brothers cheered in joy. Although the time was now seven o'clock, the sky was still not dark. The kids took fei out for a walk, Lin Qing, he knew what was up without asking, she didn't intervene. Kids, it was good to have a little hobby. Tired? Lin Qing, he turned to Zhou Qing Bai, do you want me to give a massage? Zhou Qing Bai was not tired, but it didn't stop him from enjoying his wife's services. Now that the three children weren't home, he readily let her massage. Lin Qing, he had already knew that he had muscles. Only when she pressed, she found out that the flesh was really tough. Not doing it. Lin Qing, he gave up after pressing twice. It was too hard to massage. Zhou Qing Bai grinned and took his wife into his arms. On such a hot day, Lin Qing, he didn't mind the heat and sat on him. Smelling the refreshing smell of his body after bathing, she spoke, this soap fragrance is quite nice. He used the soap she had collected for bathing. After one wash, even the little grease and mud could be removed. It was efficient to use. Do you think I'm splurging a lot of money? Think I'm a prodigal woman? Lin Qing, he hugged his neck, stared at him with raised eyebrows. Zhou Qing Bai shook his head, no. His wife was doing it for the sake of the family, not being extravagant and wasteful. I was thinking, when will we have time to go over to the capital and take a look? Lin Qing, he brought up. Why do you want to go to the capital? Zhou Qing Bai looked at her. Just curious. The Great Wall, Imperial Gate, the legendary existence. Lin Qing, he laughed. As if. She didn't know how many times she had been there already. But for people of this era, it was very meaningful, to go to the capital. Not possible at the moment. After all, outside is unsteady. Wait and see. Zhou Qing Bai said. Lin Qing, he just wanted to mention it. She turned the topic, is there anything like jade on this side? Those are all old capital feudal objects. Zhou Qing Bai stated. Lin Qing, he. She understood the environment in which this man grew up since he was a child, so she said, then forget it. Zhou Qing Bai understood that his wife wanted one, so he decided to find some time to check with his old friend. If it was good, he'll bring it back to her. Can I tonight? Zhou Qing Bai asked as he stroked her skinny waist. Lin Qing ha, what was inside this head? But when she met his eyes, Lin Qing, he was extremely embarrassed as he was seriously asking her, after a day's work, you're not tired? Not tired. Zhou Qing Bai beamed. He knew what she meant, and plucked a kiss on her cheek. De Hua and his brothers went out to walk for about ten minutes and then came back. After returning, they did their homework as usual and then prepared to sleep. Zhou Qing Bai ate a meal, and Lin Qing He, who was eaten, was exhausted in the end. You worked in the field, for the whole day, every day. Once you're home, you continue to work. You still have that energy. Lin Qing, he expressed weakly and frustrated. Zhou Qing Bai said hoarsely, if you want to, I can continue. Lin Qing, he pushed him aside. Zhou Qing Bai chuckled and pulled his wife into his embrace. He found his wife with a fan and then went to sleep. Now the weather was really sultry, Lin Qing, he frequently made mung bean soup. Every night after a family's meal and rest, they will drink a bowl of sweet mung bean soup. Third brother Lin came with happy news after half a month. Lin Qing he scolded, it's been a long time since the birth, why come over here now? It was busy for a while, I had to help out at home. Third brother Lin meekly smiled. Hurry up and drink this bowl of mung bean soup. Just look at you, you're so exhausted that you'll soon become a skeleton. Lin Qing, he frowned. Third brother Lin was indeed too thin. He was 1 meter 75 tall, which wasn't too short in this era but it was unknown if he even reached 110 genes in weight. He was too skinny. How can it be as exaggerated as you said, sister? Third brother Lin smiled but still drank mung bean soup. After drinking, his face displayed satisfaction. 
This sweet mung bean soup was really delicious. Lin Ching, he scooped up another bowl for him, third brother Lin immediately reacted, sister, I had enough. What enough? One bowl for such a big man? There's a lot left in this pot. Lin Ching, he maintained. She had third brother Lin drink mung bean soup as she went in and got some pork out. She gave a jean a pork belly and two ribs. These were private goods from her space. Chapter 85 Wagging tongue nature on top of that, she scooped two jeans of brown sugar out. There were two jeans of red dates at home, she also gave out one jean. As for the rest, she planned to make red date mantu as a change. She also threw in half a jean of shrimp skin and a jean of eggs. Once these things were brought out, third brother Lin questioned at once, Sister, what are you doing? I'm most clear about those two old ones' nature. Your wife birthed a daughter last time, and this time she birthed another girl. The two of them will definitely be displeased. They always favor boys over girls, so your wife can forget about good postnatal confinement. But how important postnatal confinement is to a woman? I know you who have been a dad once understand, so do you still want to push these around with me? Lin Ching, he said. Sister. Third brother Lin's eyes reddened. After his wife gave birth to this daughter, his father and mother didn't display any good attitude, making his wife shed tears several times during the postnatal confinement. Wanted something to eat, but got none. This made him feel very guilty. However, being guilt was useless, it can't give anything to his wife during postnatal confinement. It's still early in this period. Everyone hasn't got off work, so go back quickly. Lin Ching, he urged. Okay. Third brother Lin nodded and pushed back the tears that were about to fall. He did not want to cause trouble to his sister, so he took advantage of this time to return quickly. A nylon poly bag held all these things on his way back. But even at this time, there were still people in the village. For example, Wang Ling, who had been headbutting with Lin Qingha before. She had witnessed it. Sure enough, she's a wicked thing. It didn't take long before she started to pour things into her maternal family. Wang Ling sneered coldly. She waited for second sister-in-law to get off work and brought it up to her. You don't know how much he took back. I saw it with my own eyes, there was quite a quantity. Wang Ling exclaimed. Do you really see it? Second sister-in-law instantly uttered. How can I lie? I estimate there are eggs for sure. Wang Ling nodded. Second sister-in-law went straight home to tell eldest sister-in-law about it. Third sister-in-law was also present and once she heard it, she said, Second sister-in-law, we are two separate families now. How Ching he lives got nothing to do with us. Whether she gave it to her maternal family or not, those things don't belong to us. We don't have to preach. Eldest sister-in-law had the same perspective, uttered, they already separated off. Ching he is the one in charge over there, let's not say too much. Second sister-in-law felt that her two sisters-in-law were bribed by fourth's wife. See here, they all stood on fourth's wife's side. Second sister-in-law made a beeline to Mother Zhou and revealed this news. Although Mother Zhou was really displeased, she still scowled at her second daughter-in-law, said, where did you hear the gossip? If you have nothing to do, then give old Zhou family more grandsons and reduce your trips to talk to those wagging-tongued natured women. Second sister-in-law's face was flashed green and white for a while. She explained herself, Mother, I was just thinking on behalf of fourth brother-in-law, as the whole family rests on his shoulders. Now he has to help his wife support her maternal family's brothers. Isn't this wanting to crush fourth brother-in-law to death? This registered into Mother Zhou's mind. However, Mother Zhou didn't dare to look for Lin Qinghe. She had a private talk with her youngest son, Zhou Qingbai. Observing how tired her youngest son was after work, Mother Zhou's heart broke. Old fourth, you don't have to work yourself to the bone, have an occasional break. Mother, I'm fine. Zhou Qingbai spoke, Mother, did you come for something? Today, Dewa's third Jiao from old Lin family came over. 
I heard that your wife gave a lot of things away. Is there enough to eat at home? Mother Zhou mentioned. His, de Wa's, third aunt gave birth and is in postnatal confinement. It's only right to give some things. Zhou Qingbang nodded. His wife only acknowledged her third brother from old Lin's side, she alienated the rest. Yes, it is right, but at most a gene of eggs. I heard that he took a lot back. Mother Zhou continued, it's not the same as before, where you send few tens of yuans in allowances back every month. The whole family relied on you, this burden isn't light. She certainly didn't dare to say these words to Lin Qing, he, even when Lin Qing, he was courteous to her. It was only because she was Zhou Qing Bai's mother that Lin Qing, he occasionally sent Dewa to deliver stuff when they got something good. But if Mother Zhou wanted to intervene in her life and arrange how she lived, Lin Qing, he would never allow it. Once she sticks in, a fight was inevitable. This wasn't what Mother Zhou wanted to see, so she looked for Zhou Qing Bai in private instead. Mother, my wife knows what she is doing, you don't have to worry about us. Aren't we living well now? Zhou Qing Bai assured. You are doing fine now, and doesn't that cost money? When the money is all spent, doesn't everything need money when De Wa and his brothers get older like marrying a wife or something? Mother Zhou pointed out. My wife said no need to make provision for children. When the kids grow up, they can just earn it themselves. Zhou Qingbai said this with laughter in his eyes. His wife's original words were, it's still a long before the boys marry. Besides, when you married me, didn't you rely on yourself? Our house was built with your money. You can do it, your sons can do it too. The tiger father birthed no pups, so we don't have to worry about it. With one sentence, she praised him and his sons. Mother Zhou sighed aloud. Seeing her son was, it was apparent that he was tamed by fourth's wife, so how could he have the ability to think? In peasant households, who doesn't save money for emergency use? Such spending habits, how can they live properly? Mother Zhou went back, and Zhou Qingbai came home. Lin Qing, he raised her eyebrows when she saw him return, what did mother talk with you? Acting so secretively and hide outside to discuss? Not much. Zhou Qingbai shook his head. Did my third brother's visit reach mother's ears through someone? Mother came to get you to remind me that one need to live more prudently now that there's no fixed income every month like before. The pressure of the whole family is all on you, and her old heart is distressed for you, the youngest son. Lin Qing, he said. Zhou Qingbai glanced at his wife. Even though she didn't hear it, his wife had basically repeated what his mother said. Correct. Lin Qing, he threw a glance at him. Wife, you're the head of our family. Zhou Qingbai looked at her seriously. That's more like it. Lin Qing, he observing how firm he was, she harumphed. As for the things given to her third brother, she did not intend to explain. If mother comes to ask you again, then simply tell her that she doesn't have to worry so much and our family is doing well. Lin Qing, he stated. Zhou Qingbai knew that his wife must be displeased due to his mother getting involved in their family matter. But he was the type of person that didn't know how to explain, so he could only solemnly stare at his wife. Chapter 86 The best mother in the village, Lin Qing, he exited with a sway of her hip. She continued to cut out red date petals. She cut the red dates into small petals with a scissor and removed the seed. Then she used it to make red date buns. As for Mother Zhou. Even though Lin Qing, he expressed understanding, Lin Qing he didn't approve. They had already separated, so even if she cares about this side, there should be a limit. Routinely nagging, can it not be bothersome? If it was a goody two-shoe, maybe they won't see it that way and be grateful to Mother Zhou for being so concerned about her family. However, Lin Qing, he won't accept such kindness. She was the mistress of her family and did as she likes. If there was something wrong, Zhou Qing Bai can correct her. But outsiders absolutely can't. This was the bottom line for her as family head. 
So in the following days, whatever delicious stuff was made at home never got delivered to old Joe family. I passed by today. I saw Dewa and his brothers were eating mantu. They said it was red date mantu and very delicious. Second brother mentioned. He wasn't purposely sewing disorder. It was just a casual comment. Father Zhou paid no heed while Mother Zhou was silent. I assumed there weren't much and was a new treat for Dewa and his kids. Third sister-in-law voiced out. Why didn't they send a portion of new treat over for father and mother? Second sister-in-law raised an eyebrow. They have separated, they got to live their life there. Eldest sister-in-law smiled. After eating, they returned to their own rooms. Third brother questioned with an awkward expression, what's going on? Third sister-in-law snorted, it's second sister-in-law. She tattered to mother about fourth's wife giving something to her third brother. Mother became unhappy. She probably went over to give some reminders as fourth's wife didn't share anything with the elder. Huh, they already moved out. It doesn't matter what Ching Bai's wife does have nothing to do with our side, ah. What is mother going over to criticize for? Third brother said. Mother has always favored fourth brother-in-law, and now the whole family burden sits on fourth brother-in-law's shoulders, mother definitely won't agree to fourth's wife supplementing her maternal family. Third sister-in-law pointed out. Eldest brother discussed this with eldest sister-in-law when they returned to the room. Second's wife was stirring trouble. Why did she talk about this to mother? Eldest Joe said. Eldest brother responded, mother is also nosy. She knows then she knows. The family had already divided, whatever happened there has no relation to here, so why does she always goes there and badger them? Who knows? Eldest sister nonchalantly replied. As for second sister-in-law, she rewarded second brother with a hug and kiss once they entered the room. Second brother had a disgusted look, what are you doing? What, you're averse to me? Second sister-in-law immediately glared. Second brother twitched his mouth and thought, if you're like fourth's wife, I would welcome all the kisses. But look at your own face, how can it be comparable to fourth's wife? Speaking of this, usually when the men talked in private, they talked about fourth's wife. Of course, he listened to it silently. He dared not say it to them. They all said that old fourth was blessed. Second brother also felt that his fourth brother was lucky. See how well fourth's wife had nurtured him after he came back. He heard she was being creative with the food. He also witnessed it with his own eyes this summer harvest. At lunch, it was white meat buns, or spring pancakes, or fried dumplings. The worst was cornmeal mantu. But it was still served with a lunchbox full of a dish with numerous meat for Old Fourth to eat. After a bustling summer harvest, who hadn't become skinny from exhaustion except for Old Fourth. Not just that, he was obviously nourished well. This had him envious. I'm speaking, what are you thinking? Second sister-in-law uttered. Nothing, what else can I think about? Second brother sighed, I don't know when our family will make something delicious? Passing by Fourth's house, he wanted to go in and scrounge a meal. Watching how the kids read Date Mantu and the sweet fragrance it emitted had a lot of children gathering around, he became too embarrassed to enter in the end. Our mother lives frugally. It's not a special day, so don't think about it, second sister-in-law waved her hand. At this time, their son came in and said that elder brother de Wanad others had delicious treat again, he wanted to eat it too. Second sister-in-law's son was called Zhou Xia, about the same age as Er Hua. He was older than eldest sister-in-law's eldest son Zhou Yang, because eldest sister-in-law had daughters in front. Eat what? Why not go and become their family's son? Second sister-in-law scolded. Can I? Zhou Xia's eyes lighted up even more. Second brother laughed, son, you don't have that life. Let's eat cornmeal pancake at home. His son's face dropped. He really wanted to be fourth uncle and fourth aunt's son. Elder brother De Hua got yummy food every day. It was either meat or noodles or white mantu. 
Also, they ate white rabbit candy, malted milk powder, and huge watermelon. Their life was so blissful. He also wanted to be his uncle's son. Dewa and his brothers weren't just envied by Zhou Xia. Zhou Yang, eldest sister-in-law's son, was envious too. Same with third sister-in-law's Zhou, Wu and I. These were old Zhou families. There were still the children in the village. Once it got out, who didn't feel envious? They heard adults say Dewa's mother doesn't know how to live, but they felt that there was no mother in the world who can live more properly than Dewa and his brother's mother. If she was their mother, how good it'll be. Lin Qing, he didn't know that she had become the most ideal mother in the eyes of the children in the village. She was only experimenting with the red date man to this time, but she didn't expect it to work out so well. She liked it. But red dates weren't cheap, but they will be much cheaper when new ones come out. At that time, she can buy more back to make them. She never thought of making red dates man to before. Once Zhou Qingbai came back from work, he went fishing for rice field eel, catching loach, capturing fish, and shrimp. Even the snail was brought back by him. His wife's cooking skills were excellent, and these can become delicious things in the hands of his wife. If I go to the county city next time, I'll bring you a bottle of Mao Tai wine. Serving this and drinking the wine will have you delighted. Lin Qing, he fried the snail and said to Zhou Qingbai, Zhou Qingbai beamed, the next time you buy a bottle back, let's drink together? All right. Lin Qing, he raised an eyebrow. At this time, the eel was also very fat and delicious. The important thing was that it was a pure free range. It got a lot of nutrition. If Zhou Qingbai wasn't exhausted from farm work, Lin Qing, he would send him every day to go fishing for eel. Let's keep the loach for tomorrow. Go exchange the soybean drag and bring back some tofu. I will make some fried tofu. Lin Qing, he said. Okay. Zhou Qingbai nodded. Life at home was unquestionable. Lin Qing, he took Erhua and Sanhua back to the county city after seven or eight days. Must say, the brothers became smarter day by day after following Lin Qing, he on her trip. Chapter 87 Chin Shan, the scum, soon, September arrived and they entered the season of autumn. The autumn harvest started at the end of this month and all the way up till November. This was a very huge project. Equivalent to three times the summer harvest's effort. That was enough to understand how tormenting this autumn harvest was. Still, Lin Qing, he did not enter the field. From the beginning of this project that started at the end of September. Lin Qing, he made lunch every day and delivered it over. Because she empathized with how much toil it was on Zhou Qing Bai, she took on all the chores at home. Even the pigsty was cleaned before he returned home, so Zhou Qing Bai, who was busy, doesn't have to tidy the pigsty and chicken shed when he returned. As for lunch, Lin Qing, he exhausted her all creativity. Big buns, mantu with fried meat, or cornmeal mantu with stew meat. Of course, a huge bundle of vegetables can't be omitted, such as tomato soup and green bean soup. She had brought it all to Zhou Qing Bai. The lunch was delivered by bike. She didn't care about the old Zhou's house. Even when eldest sister-in-law suggested that she help her bring it, Lin Qing, he refused, without hesitation. Every family did their own thing. Don't mix them together, so no one gets condemned. Yes, Lin Qing, he was still mad about Mother Zhou, poking into her family affairs. She wasn't one to let herself be aggrieved, so naturally, she won't take care of the old Zhou family. When harvesting this summer, she would send a portion of mung bean soup or something to the old Zhou family. But this autumn harvest, that side didn't receive a single bite from her. Of course, Lin Qing, he also knew they might not desire it, but what does it have to do with her? Her attitude was very obvious. She was in charge of her family's affairs, and no one else is allowed to chip in, even if it was the mother-in-law, Mother Zhou. Her intention was good but still shouldn't stick in. It may be overbearing, but that was the kind of person she was. Zhou Qingbai probably felt it too. As he drank the mung bean soup, he snuck glances at his wife. 
Lin Qing, his eyelids soberly squinted at him, do you have something to say? Before Zhou Qingbai had the chance to speak, De Hua spoke on behalf of his father, mother, do you need to send some to grandpa and grandma? If old Zhou's home wants to drink, don't they have mung beans to cook? Since they didn't make it, it means that they don't want to drink. Lin Qing, he indifferently replied. Then second aunt will definitely criticize you, Erwa remarked. So what if she criticize? If she has the gut to come and say it to my face, I'll definitely give her a good punishment. Lin Qing, he sneered. Zhou Qingbai felt helpless. Quickly eat and rest once done. Lin Qing, he ordered. Zhou Qingbai munched his own food. Same with Dewa and Erwa. After eating, they laid on the nylon polybag and catnapped. There was limited time to rest, but drowse when they can. Lin Qing, he took Sam Hua home on the bike, as well as third sister-in-law. Third sister-in-law advised her, don't hold your grudge so long. Lin Qing, he laughed, what grudge do I have? Everybody has their own life, wasn't it like this before? Third sister-in-law said, before was before, now is now. Now fourth brother-in-law is also at home, you acting like this makes his heart ill at ease. Lin Qing, he gave no response, but her mind muttered, how am I making Zhou Qing Bai ill at ease? But she didn't give much explanation. After all, there was a generation gap, and some things cannot be communicated. When she got home, she separated from third sister-in-law. Lin Qingha led Sanhua home. At this time an urban educated youth came over, fourth Zhou saw, can I have a lend of the bicycle? I'm going to the field. Fourth Zhou Ge and the kids can ride back in the evening. Lin Qing, he frowned, who are you? My name is Chen Shan, an urban educated youth from Jin City. Please take care of me fourth Zhou Sa. The urban educated youth, Chen Shan, smiled gently. Lin Qing, his face remained unchanged, while her heart was surprised. After the shock, she sneered. Chen Shan? Wasn't this the scum man who seduced the original owner in the original plot? No wonder in life, encounters happen everywhere. She came across him now. Educated youth Chen, before today we never met and you still dare to come and borrow a bike from me. Who gave you the face? Do you think, because you are an educated youth from Jin City, that you're so amazing? Lin Qing, he laughed, but what was said was similar to cold scum. A scum man dared to come to her and pretend to be elegant? However, Chen Shan was able to maintain his grace and look, the fourth Zhou Sa's words said it like you discriminate against us, urban educated youth who came to the countryside and is no different from everyone. Can be called discrimination. Just some people, who aren't what they appear to be, dissuade people from giving flatters. Of course, it's undeniable that most of them are good, but there happened to be some lazy bum, who has never gone to work till now. With a chuckle, Lin Qing, he turned around with San Hua and walked away. Although she got even more unpleasantness to give, she mustn't go overboard and give some face as her three kids were still young, such a lovely skin, to marry such a rough country man, you'll have a time when you'll regret it, I'm waiting for you to follow me once you're in regret. Chin Shan's gaze held a must-have intention as he watched Lin Qingyi's back. Based on Chin Shan's high-level examination, Zhou Qingbai's wife was a gem. She got what was truly defined as a waist and a hip. That face was so smooth that one can pinch out water. Within these ten li and eight villages, one couldn't find such a woman. Even if she had three sons, she was still so beautiful and so tempting. Sooner or later, you will beg for mercy under me. Despite not knowing what this sewer rat thought, Lin Qing, he held contempt toward him. In fact, the original owner didn't fancy this man, but she was tempted by Chin Shan only after she was forced into a helpless corner. Although the external temptation was there, it was still due to the fact that the original owner wasn't highly principled. She was not the same as the original owner. In her opinion, Zhou Qingbai was great in every aspect, so no such thing will happen. No matter how powerful the plot was, since she was here, it was her decision. Mother, sleepy. 
Sanwa said as soon as he came home. Mother happened to be sleepy too. Lin Ching, he grinned and went to bed with her son. They slept until 2.30 and Lin Ching he got up. Sanwa had enough sleep, so she let him play with Fei Ying. Lin Ching, he went off to handle the dough, to steam mantu. As the dough was resting, she started to clean the pigsty and chicken shed. Since Zhou Ching Bai was too worn out, she will help out with a question. If the original owner was still there, then it was impossible for the family to raise pigs. She believed that she has done a lot better than the original owner, but Mother Zhou still gave criticize. Even if her original intention was benevolent, she really doesn't approve. So don't blame her for being extreme. What she wanted to express was that she doesn't need anyone, even her mother-in-law, to intervene in her family's affairs, no matter how big or small. She won't accept any compromise. On this matter, as long as Mother Zhou did not express her attitude or come up with an attitude, there was no room for reconciliation. Even if Zhou Qingbai was put on a tight spot, she won't cause herself discomfort. He loved to be troubled, then go be troubled, Chapter 88. Zhou Qingbai's punishment, when Zhou Qingbai brought De Hua and Er Hua back, it was already half past six in the evening. It was pretty late this time, so when the father and sons returned home, the delicious meal was ready. White buns are served with tomato and scrambled eggs and a braised pork. A cucumber and a bone radish soup was the finishing touch. The food was very simple, but it's still a wonderful meal. After the whole family finished eating, Lin Qing, he didn't tidy up the dishes and cutlery as usual. It was De Wa's responsibility. Lin Qing, he had finished her work, so she can do as she liked with the time. She started studying. Although there was still seven years more before the college entrance examination, it did not affect her enthusiasm for studying. Since there was nothing to do, then study. Zhou Qingbai said, I can come back and tidy up the pigsty. When the autumn harvest is over, naturally it'll be you who clean it. At the moment, you don't have to snatch to do it. Lin Qing, he kept on processing the book's content as she answered without looking up. Zhou Qingbai stared at her for a moment before going to bathe first. The autumn harvest was indeed tiring, but with enough energy from food and enough time to rest, he can still keep going. When he came back after the wash-up with a cool soapy scent, Lin Qing, he glimpsed at him and said, After a hectic day, you must be tired? Would you like to take a rest first? No need. Zhou Qing Bai stared at her. Lin Qing, he let him be and continued to read her book. She brought up, I don't know if the college entrance examination will resume in the future. If it does, then I will try it. Don't stop me. At that time, how old will you be? Zhou Qingbai did not expect his wife to think of this and uttered with somewhat bafflement. By that time, who knows what age she'll be, so why take part in the college entrance examination? Lin Qing, he glared at him, I will always be 18, understand? Zhou Qingbai nodded very tactfully, in my eyes, my wife will always be 18 years old beauty. Satisfied, Lin Qing, he said, at least you're discerning, otherwise you will spend the night with mosquitoes outside. Just finished washing the dishes, De Wa pinched his mouth to copy from her, at least you're discerning, otherwise you will spend the night with mosquitoes outside. Lin Qing, he didn't find it odd when she said it but listening to De Wa's parroting, she had goosebumps all over. She set down the book and snapped out, Zhou de Wa, do you want a beating? Mother, you can do it, but I can't. Isn't that what you said just a few days ago, only allow officials to set fire and forbade the common people to light the lights? After de Wa cheekily laughed, he ran out. Lin Qing, he sat back down and continued studying as she muttered, none of these cheeky boys are affectionate. They all get me fuming. Sons are birthed to collect debts, only girls are caring. I think so too. Zhou Qingbai nodded seriously. Lin Qing, he gave him a glance, you still dare say that you think so too? Who's planted these seeds? Zhou Qingbai's eyes looked at her softly, I didn't expect you to be so capable. 
She was very capable, three sons in one go. But in the future, shouldn't they get a daughter? Speaking of it, he had done it a lot with her, but her stomach still had no movement these days. Lin Qing, he gave him an eye roll and mentally uttered, it got nothing to do with woman whether they gave birth a boy or girl. It's up to you guys to decide. However, this couldn't be randomly voiced out, so she continued to read her book. My mother is like that, always worried that our family isn't faring well, so she says a lot. Zhou Qingbai said hesitantly. So it's my fault. I should have empathized with her good intentions instead of butting with her, right? Lin Qing, he gave him a smile. As if without hesitation, Zhou Qingbai shook his head, wife, I don't mean that. If you think that I am insensible and unfilial to your father and your mother, you can say it clearly. We can end it here. Lin Qing, he solemnly declared. Zhou Qingbai's face sank. Lin Qing, he sneered, I'm telling you now, Zhou Qingbai. I don't care if your mother meant well or not. In short, I am filial. She can take anything to eat, but I don't allow others to intervene in my family and how I treat you or your three sons. If you aren't uncomfortable or unhappy, you can tell me directly. But if others come, then I won't be polite. After that, she grabbed the book and went straight to the children's room. Leaving Zhou Qing Bai with a helpless face. Needless to say, Lin Qing, he wanted to sleep on a separate Kong tonight instead of sleeping with Zhou Qing Bai the stinky man. He can sleep by himself, however, Zhou Qingbai refused to. He openly carried her back in front of the three sons, causing De Hua, Er Hua, and San Hua to protest. Lin Qing, he was embarrassed, while De Hua didn't mind inflating the matter, Daddy, what are you doing? Taking my wife back to the room to sleep. Zhou Qingbai stated, the three of you sleep well. You have to get up early tomorrow morning. The latter half was directed to the brothers. In the summer, Senwa no longer slept here. He preferred to sleep with his two brothers. It goes without saying, Zhou Qingbai was delighted. The kids giggled in agreement and Lin Qing, he was taken back to her room. Can you not do this in front of the children? Lin Qing, he warned, but her voice was lowered, so it seemed to coquettish. It's time to sleep. There'll be a lot of matter tomorrow. Zhou Qingbai said. Even after the lights went out, Lin Qing, he was still angry. Zhou Qingbai started coaxing her, softly and gentle coaxing. It took almost ten minutes for Lin Qing, he, to drop her anger. Then Zhou Qingbai flipped on top of her at once. What are you doing? Aren't you tired out from the whole day? Lin Qing, he said. Not tired. Zhou Qingbai began his meat feasting activity. Halfway through his work, Zhou Qingbai questioned her, Do you dare to say end it with me anymore? This woman's words irked him. They got three children already, and she dared to say anything. At this critical time, what can Lin Qing he do? Of course, she can only surrender and admit her mistake. Only then, Zhou Qingbai continued to love her. After busying from nearly nine o'clock to ten o'clock, the couple went to sleep. As for the previous anger, it was naturally quarreling at the head of the bed and reconciled at the end of the bed. That was basically how it was between husband and wife. Zhou Qingbai was refreshed when he got up the next day, while Lin Qing, he slept lazily until she woke up at six in the morning. As for Zhou Qingbai, he had already set off then. The autumn harvest was also harvest rush. At about 4.30 a.m., the whole group departed. The sky hadn't lighted yet when they head over. Once the sun rose, a lot of works were already done. Before she went to bed last night, she steamed a pot of pumpkin mantu. As for the vegetable dish, she didn't have time to make. She only cooked a shrimp skin soup to eat with pumpkin mantu. Dewa and Air Wa wanted to head over, so they followed over their grandma a little later. Although Lin Qing he and Mother Zhou had some differences in opinions, Lin Qing he did not stop the kids from interacting with their grandma. She was not that unreasonable. Chapter 89 Heatstroke, she prepared a hearty breakfast for the boys. 
Only then did she let the two brothers, Dewa and Er Wa go out. These brothers were really active. Because of these kind of life, other families' children were forced to go. But these brothers were both eager to go. What can Lin Qingyi do? As expected, she can't do nothing. After feeding the pigs and chickens, she began to make the dough. Pancakes was for lunch. She grabbed a handful of mushrooms and soaked them. The filling was bountiful. The soaked mushrooms were diced, then the loin. She plucked three pieces of cucumber and cut it into sticks for later. Next was scrambled eggs. Eaten with it inside the scallion pancake, the taste will be heavenly. Then she prepared a few tomatoes and a bowl of mung bean soup. These things were what Lin Qing he was going to send over. Usually, she placed these things directly into the space and takes them out after arriving there, so that they won't overflow and easily drop out. After finishing this, it was only past 9 o'clock, not 10 o'clock yet. She waited until 10.30 before delivering the meal with Sanhua. Sanhua, come. Mother will teach you how to draw. Lin Qing He, who was at home, started teaching San Hua to draw. She found that San Hua really had a gift for drawing. It must be noted that even though the kid was mischievous, he was serious once he drew. Next time she intends to buy some colored pencils back for San Hua to let him draw better. I really envy Fourth's wife. To actually be able to stay at home and paid no heed to outside matters. Second sister-in-law, who was busying away in the field, was so dead tired that her waist and back were sore and she couldn't resist muttering. Second brother remarked, weren't you saying she was lazy before? Why are you being envious now? Why else? If it weren't for you being incapable, I won't need to come out and suffer this torment on this day. Second sister-in-law couldn't resist complaining. Now each family was responsible for one piece of land. They don't work together like before. This one family was responsible for this piece and another was responsible for that piece. The earlier one finished, the earlier one can rest. If not done, then continue to work with no break for lunch. So here was working on one piece. Zhou Qingbai was responsible for another piece. Don't underestimate him on his own, he can do the work of two. Second brother pursed his lip, if you scorn me for being incapable, then you can find another guy. This remark made the second sister-in-law furious. Just work, what are you talking for, said Father Zhou, from that side. Chattering all day long, and not much work done. Third sister-in-law scowled. Third brother was also exhausted, just commented, I wonder what we'll eat at noon. This time, mother is at home. What delicious thing can there be? Third sister-in-law sighed. If she or eldest sister-in-law was cooking at home, it would definitely be better. But when her mother-in-law was holding Ford at home, then, needless to say, cornmeal pancake served with pickled veg and lump veg was the best it can get. Eldest sister-in-law also held no hope toward this. Eldest brother scolded her, what mother makes is what you eat. Eldest sister-in-law responded, now the days aren't terrible. After this time, the food will be distributed. We'll also have a bumper harvest this year. We should eat better at home occasionally. It was draining to work in the field. If one didn't eat well, how can the body bear the strain? Our family hasn't split yet? What mother makes is what you eat. Can you even complain to mother? Did you not see mother is giving displeased attitude toward fourth's wife? Eldest brother said. Eldest brother knew this even if he was slow-witted. Because their mother was disgruntled with fourth's wife's extravagant way in life, where they had either eggs or pork every day, she said a few words. Fourth's wife became offended, so the conflict happened. Dewa's family had already separated out how they eat and what to make, Dewa's mother what she's doing. Can't believe mother, why did she have to go and say something? Eldest sister-in-law replied. In this matter, she supported Dewa's mother. If they hadn't separated, then it was fine. Now they moved out, she didn't have to criticize Dewa's mother on what she wants to do as long as she doesn't reach out to old Joe family. 
It was more like Dewa's mother giving attitude to her mother-in-law, rather than their mother-in-law giving disgruntled looks to Dewa's mother. Look, there was no bite of delicious food at this side. During the summer harvest, it was a must to send a portion over. Now this even more exhausting autumn harvest. Don't dream of sharing a bite. Who was on the losing end? Eldest brother sighed, fourth's wife hold resentment so long. No matter what, mother is an elder. Eldest sister-in-law said nothing. Haha, <laughs> being sisters-in-law for so many years, who didn't know Dewa's mother's character. Expect her to give food when they are in a cold war, gotta be dreaming right? Moreover, Dewa's mother wasn't in the wrong on this matter. Compared to before, Dewa's mother was more reasonable now. At least eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law were willing to interact with Lin Qinghe. As for the others, they don't know. Mother Zhou delivered the lunch. After Lin Qing, he learned that she was delivering the meal, she deliberately delayed herself. After she had arrived for a while, she came down much later with the pancakes packaged in the insulated box for Zhou Qingbai and her sons to eat. Did you come with your eldest aunt in the morning? Lin Qing, he asked Dewa. Came with third aunt. Dewa answered while eating the pancake. Mother, this pancake is really yummy. Erwa munched in content. Lin Qing, he observed the brother's sun-flushed cheeks and nagged, don't you know to rest occasionally when it's too sunny? How can I rest? If I rest, it'll let them pick up more and our work points will be less. Erwa shook his head. Dewa nodded in agreement, that's right, mother. Don't worry about us, we're all right. Because of the way Lin Qing, he fed them, the brothers were fine. But eldest third sister-in-law's eldest daughter, Wu and I, suffered from heatstroke. T slash N, mistaken raw, that night she vomited and had diarrhea. Third brother came knocking at midnight to borrow the bicycle to send Wu and I to the health center. Lin Qing, he has taken a liking to Wu and I. The little girl was very clever and occasionally came to help with chores. Although there was nothing much to do at home, Lin Qing, he still gave her a little when there was something delicious. Is it serious? I have medicine here, I bought it for an emergency. How about letting her take it first and see? Lin Qing, he entered into her room and took out the pills. This was something she didn't forget to buy when she was collecting materials. They were all very effective medicines. But she didn't dare to say anything absolutely, instead, said give it a try. Thank you fourth sister-in-law. I'll take it back to try, said third brother. Because when brought to the health center, she'll still have to take medicine and injections. Of course, if there was medicine, they can try it first. However, Lin Qinghe and Zhou Qingbai sorted themselves before heading over. As for the three boys at home, they were exhausted from the day and slept like little pigs at this moment. Even thunder couldn't wake them up. It was enough to leave Fei Ying to watch in the house. Wu Ni's face was a little pale. The small face, which was initially tiny, became even thinner. Lin Qinghe's medicine was very effective. After eating it, Wu and I was much better. After being in agony for so long, she fell asleep once she was comfortable. Chapter 90 Splitting the family while the child can sleep it off in peace, the adults were in shock. This time, it scared me to death. That lass did not say anything when feeling unwell. In the middle of the night, her father and I were anxious as headless flies. Third sister-in-law pulled Lin Qing, he closer, and gratefully said. It's all right now. I still have a bit of this medicine. Tonight, Wu and I should be fine. I'll ask Dewa to bring it to you tomorrow morning. Lin Qing, he comforted. She did not stay too long and went back with Zhou Qing Bai. Father Zhou, Mother Zhou, eldest sister-in-law, eldest brother, and others were also disturbed and woken up. They were all relieved as well. It's really thanks to Dewa's mother, otherwise who knows how long Wu and I would be tormented this time. She's too strong-willed to bear the discomfort and be silent. Eldest sister-in-law sighed. 
which medicine did Wu and I take this time? The effect was so quick. Second sister asked. I don't know what medicine, but it's definitely not cheap. Third brother shook his head. Then should we give Dewa's mother money? I'm afraid that she bought it with much difficulty to prepare for emergency uses. Eldest sister-in-law turned to Mother Zhou. Give what money? Second sister-in-law interjected before Mother Zhou could speak, all one family, isn't it treating her like an outsider by talking money when helping each other? Mother, this medicine wasn't easily obtained by fourth sister-in-law. I have to get another again tomorrow. The money must be returned to her. After all, they have separated off already. What's more, I'm deeply grateful that fourth sister-in-law is willing to take this medicine out for Wu and I this time. Third sister-in-law piped in. Second sister-in-law pursed her lips and then looked at Mother Zhou. Mother Zhou waved her hand and said, ask her how much money and give it to her. Everyone is tired today, hurry back to rest. We have to get up early tomorrow. Father Zhou also said. So they went back to bed. On this side, Lin Qing, he explained to Zhou Qing Bai, fortunately, I circled around the black market. The man said it was secretly recipe and sold it dearly to me. I smelled it and felt it was pretty good. So I bought it when you guys in mind, I didn't expect it to come in handy. Zhou Qing Bai nodded, as expected, he didn't probe any further about this. The next morning, Lin Qing, he passed the medicine to Dewa and asked him to bring it over. When Dewa came back, he asked, Mother, third aunt asked you how much is this medicine? Lin Qing, he was in the middle of frying cucumber and eggs. In response, she said, you can tell your third aunt that this medicine is for your sister, Wu and I, no money needed. If she wants to repay, it's enough to let Wu and I come to help me with the work in the house when she's free. This was naturally being courteous, there weren't many chores to do. Third sister-in-law understood what she meant and stated, I'll remember this favor, fourth sister-in-law. Eldest sister-in-law didn't head out to work yet. The men went over first. It was no problem for women to go later. At this time, it was only six o'clock, so it wasn't too late. This medicine works really well. Eldest sister-in-law estimated that this wasn't cheap. Third sister-in-law was in agreement. Second sister-in-law remarked, she's not short on this bit of money, so there's no need to say so much. Let's get ready, it's time to go. There are many things to do today. Then you take good care of Wu and I at home. Third sister-in-law told third sister-in-law. Because Wu and I had a heat stroke, third sister-in-law stayed at home to care for her and handle the cooking and the likes. Eldest sister-in-law, Mother Zhou, and second sister-in-law brought the group of children to the field, including Dewa and Erwa. I got to say, Dewa has grown a lot this year, eldest sister-in-law said with a smile. Second sister-in-law glanced over as she sourly said, eldest sister-in-law, look at what these brothers eat every day. Surely they can grow taller eating like this. What are you being sour about? If you have that ability, you can do it too. Mother Zhou opened her mouth and said to this second daughter-in-law, who always go to finding trouble. Second sister-in-law glimpsed at her and spoke, Mother, if I separate off, I can also live that well. The meaning was clear, she wanted to separate. Okay. Mother Zhou smiled. Watching her, she declared, I have discussed with your father, once this autumn harvest is over, we will separate the family for you. Each of you will live on your own, but if you want another pot and stove, there's none, so everyone cooks in the kitchen. Mother, our first branch, doesn't have that intention. Eldest sister-in-law said quickly. Of course, the first branch doesn't have that intention. The first branch got three daughters in front and two sons at back. Got so many mouths. Second sister-in-law immediately responded. Zhou de and I, Er and I, and C and I were born from eldest sister-in-law. T slash N, refer to here, for order understanding, third sister-in-law San and I was the same age as Er and I, but slightly younger, by a bit. The next one was third sister-in-law's Wu and I. 
Lu Enai was second sister-in-laws, and finally, it was Zhou Xia, the son. Second branch currently had two daughters and one son. First branch was three daughters and two sons. Third branch now had a daughter and a son. Fourth branch, that was Lin Qing, he's three sons and no daughters. Even though my family has a larger population, my family does not drag us down. Usually, my girls, De Eni and Er Eni washed the whole family's clothes, earned points by getting pigweed and picking cow dung. Eldest sister-in-law swept her gaze to her. In addition, she and eldest brother were diligent, so they will never drag the family behind. On the contrary, it was second's wife and second brother-in-law, who were lazying around and procrastinating. Enough, no need to fight. Wait until the autumn harvest is over and the winter wheat is planted, then we'll split. At that time, each family will eat their own. Your father and I are getting old too. We can't govern your business. Go decide for yourself, I won't criticize you in the future. Mother Zhou declared. Eldest sister-in-law knew then, she was serious. And listening to the meaning in this sentence, it seems to indicate her to pass it to fourth's wife? Eldest sister-in-law didn't say anything. After all, the two elders decided to split up, so let's split up. After splitting, her family won't fare any worse. As the adults whispered these things, the children weren't listening as they chattered on the way. Even Dewa and Er Wa wasn't paying any attention to their. They were currently bringing up what their mother said, she will make fried mantu for them for lunch. Fried mantu? Brother Dewa, can you give me a piece at that time? Zhou Xia, second sister-in-law's son, couldn't resist telling him. The fried mantu sounded very yummy, and he had never eaten them. Not only that he hadn't eaten it before, but none of the other kids, number 1-4 and 6 girls, and Zhou Yan, first branch eldest boy, present either. As for eldest sister-in-law's younger son and third sister-in-law's son Zhou Dong Dong, they were too young, so they stayed at home. Whoever cooks at home will take care of it. Normally, rural children were like this. They basically grew up playing with mud on their own. It was impossible to say they were carefully raised. Dewa kept showing off as showing off, he won't share his own food, uttered, my mother didn't make much. There's enough to share with so many of you. And third aunt will cook for you at home today. She'll definitely prepare some tasty things to eat. That's right, third aunt will definitely make you a good meal. Erwa nodded too. Don't covet his family's stuff. Chapter 91 Splitting the family is a good idea. Eat fried mantu, they really know how to enjoy. The children were happily chattering away there, while the adults here listened. Second sister-in-law couldn't help blurting out. Mother Zhou had decided that to govern so much to provoke her daughter's-in-law's dissatisfaction. Once the family separates and she had no plans to control anything. Eldest sister-in-law pondered on what delicious thing to make for the children one day after the family split away. At home, Lin Qing, he knew that her third sister-in-law was watching the house. She came over once her work at home was completed. Although Wu and I was still tired and unwell, her complexion was much better than last night. After making sure she was fine, she chatted with third sister-in-law and then left San Hua behind. Sanwa wanted to play with Zhou Dong Dong and eldest sister-in-law's younger son, Tu Dou. He hadn't gotten a formal name yet, for now his nickname was Tu Dou. Da Wa and Er Wa weren't boasting. Lin Qing, he did promise that they'll eat fried mantu when the brothers asked what was for lunch. She sliced the mantu, layered on an egg liquid mixed with salt and sesame, and fried until the sides were browned. The taste was fantastic. Lin Qing, he made a lot and had used the peanut oil she brought. After so long, the five barrels of peanut oil she brought with her, she had only used one bottle as she usually used lard. So there were four bottles left. So she acted thriftlessly and used this oil for the fried mantu. In addition to fried mantu, was mung bean soup. The mung bean soup was pure mung bean soup without sugar, as it was the best combination to serve like this. It should be enough for the whole family to eat. 
Lin Qing, he began to boil green grass to make a pot of refreshing water, which was specially used to relieve the heat. When lunch was delivered at noon, she dropped over to third sister-in-law to pick up old Zhou family's share. She didn't bring along San Hua, instead, she left him at the old Zhou's house for third sister-in-law to babysit, of course, she had left fried mantu and mung bean soup for San Hua, Wu and I, and Zhou Dong Dong to eat. T slash N, what about potato, to do? The weather was really blazing and sultry. Lin Qing, he felt like this when she came to deliver the meal, so if they wanted to make her work, don't even think about it. She can't accept it. So when seeing Zhou Qing by, Lin Qing, he was very attentive for once. In my opinion, this fried mantu served with green bean soup can easily produce body heat, so these herbal teas are specially prepared for you father and sons. Remember to drink it, okay? Lin Qing, he urged. Watching how she was so naggy, Zhou Qing Bai's eyes were soft and uttered, eat more. I ate at home. Lin Qing, he waved her hands. However, Zhou Qing Bai gave more pressure, so she ate another piece. De Hua and Er Hua were already fulfilled by this meal. The fried mantu was golden brown on both sides with black sesame seeds and eggs on the top. Salty and crispy, so delicious with mung bean soup. The food for old Zhou family was brought by Lin Qing, he, but she handed it to eldest sister-in-law and cared no more. Second sister-in-law looked over to this side, as expected it was fried mantu. As she ate the pancake made by third sister-in-law, she said, and it's covered in egg and sesame seeds. The aromatic scent flowed over here along with the wind. Really know how to indulge. Second brother munched on the pancake as he blurted. It was pretty good to have a double-sized pancake today. But if compared with fourth family's fried mantu, it was nothing. Eldest brother shook his head and expressed, how can they live like this? Eating like this, how much things were needed? Eldest sister-in-law thought, what's wrong with living this? How much better, De Hua, Er Hua, and San Hua? However, it was her, eldest sister-in-law, dare not. Occasionally making it for the children as fine. As for cooking creatively every day was impossible. After all, within so many groups, it was really impossible to find a second one like fourth's wife. Father Zhou said nothing, he never cared about this. Mother Zhou had thought it through, so she didn't say anything. They were two families and managing too much was a bad idea recently, she got told off by Father Zhou so she became open-minded and was ready to separate and let the children live their own life. But providing for the elderly was a must. Lin Qing, he prepared to head back after serving fathers and sons. She instructed them that if they felt uncomfortable, they had to find a place to rest immediately. She also left two pills for Zhou Qing Bai to keep for an emergency. The autumn harvest days were indeed bustling, and this year, they had a pretty good harvest season. So despite being busy, everyone had the pure and simple joy on their face as they knew they secured their food this year. It was the end of October in a flash. Numerous grains had been collected. Some grains were distributed as soon as they had handed over the public rations. Some who hadn't finished collecting yet, continued to work. During this period, the entire group was filled with merriment. This year, a lot of food was allocated to the family. Lin Ching He, who had no sense of collective honor, was quite happy to see the food that Zhou Ching Bai carried back. This year our two pigs will be able to exchange a lot of food when the time comes. Lin Ching, he said. She had put in the effort to serve the two big fat pigs at home and now it was excessive to call it big fat pig. They were probably about 200 genes? Lin Qing, he had fed them several times a day with pigweed, rice bran, soybean waste, soybean dregs, cornmeal, and the likes. With so much good stuff, how can it not grow meat? Zhou Qingbai stated, this year, we can get a pig's head. Lin Qing, he stared at him. Does this mean he wants to eat pig head? Lin Qing, he had no liking for pig's head meat, but since Zhou Qingbai liked it, she nodded and said, all right, we'll get a pig's head. I'll make braised pork head meat for you. 
Zhou Qingbai gazed at her. Lin Qing, he's heart, beat a little faster, from his stare. It was broad daylight, what can he do? So she kissed him on the cheek. Before she could escape, she was hugged by Zhou Qingbai. Lin Qing, he coughed and talked about the serious matter. I heard eldest sister-in-law said that your parents intend to let the three families split once the autumn harvest is over. Splitting the family is a good idea. Zhou Qingbai replied. It was ridiculous for so many people to huddle together, even though it was a norm in the village. Zhou Qingbai believed it was still better to separate and each family lived their own lives. Father and mother aren't young anymore. When the times come, you discuss with your brothers on how you'll provide for the elderly. Whether it's given monthly or quarterly. Lin Qing, he reminded. It can be regarded as Mother Zhou giving her standpoint, letting everyone have their own way, and she had no intention to intervene. So as a daughter-in-law, Lin Qing, he put a stop and no longer hold back. Since hearing from eldest sister-in-law, she often let Zhou Qing buy and the kids bring a share of the meal over to Father Zhou and Mother Zhou. The previous matter was considered to be over. Chapter 92 Getting Meat and Eating It After the last grain was collected and handed over to the public ration, the last food distribution began then winter wheat was planted again, and the production team announced that the work was finished. At this time, the pigs were killed and the meat got distributed. At the same time, if anyone in the village raised the pigs, they have to drive the pigs out and be tasked to hand over the pig. Other families reached 70 to 80 genes at best. However, Lin Qing He and Zhou Qing buys two pigs, were at least about 200 genes each. Two pigs racked up above 400 genes. When these two pigs were guided out, it caused a sensation throughout the entire Zhou Jia village. So they all rushed to find out from Zhou Qingbai how to raise them? How can the pigs get so fat? Zhou Qingbai had nothing to hide, foraged pigweed, soybean waste, soybean dregs, and cornmeal. The first few were fine, but the cornmeal at the back was shocking. What, feed the pig with cornmeal? They don't even get to eat cornmeal, so how could they use it to feed pigs? Needless to say, this must have been his terrible wife's idea. Lin Qing he was used to bearing such blame, so when Zhou Qingbai wanted to say that they used to raise pigs like this back in the force, he was stopped by Lin Qing he. She told him he didn't need to say more. They could believe it if they want. But there was no doubt that these two big fat pigs, which can outweigh the other normal five fat pigs, were very eye-catching. It went without saying that the work points won't be lacking. More importantly, the whole village was sharpening the knife at once. Because other families, including those on the team, didn't achieve such fatness, they wanted to kill these two to distribute with everyone. If they can get pig fat, it will definitely be able to boil a lot of lard for use. So with the consent of everyone, the village branch secretary signaled the slaughter and the others rushed to complete the task. This time the pork distribution can be handed out again, before the new year. There were still a lot of pigs on the farm, which was reserved for the community. This time, the autumn harvest was draining, so everyone ate better. So their family's pigs were killed. Zhou Qingbai asked for a pig head, a length of pork intestines, a pork stomach, a pigtail, five genes of pork fat, eight large ribs, and large bones. He also got a good bit of pork belly and lean meat. The most popular and well-recognized as good meat nowadays was fatty pork, then followed by pork belly loin and pig head. As for the pig's large intestine, pork stomach, and the internal bits, they weren't counted. And the lean pork, ribs, and big bones weren't popular, so they were all cheap. So even though it looked at a lot, it was in fact matched to his work points. Moreover, these two big fat pigs were raised by his family. It was no problem for him to pick from at first. No one in the village would say anything. Even if many people coveted the big pig's head, no one dared to object when Zhou Qingbai took it away. Dewa's mother, why didn't you let fourth brother-in-law ask for more pork fat? How can those meat be better? Eldest sister-in-law came over and whispered. It's okay, we should leave some for everyone. 
Lin Qing, he replied. De Waz is very broad-minded. Huang Daniang, their neighbor, praised her. Huang Daniang, what's with your words? If she was really broad-minded, then why haven't I seen her enter the field once? Wang Ling snickered. If I go to the field, can you still have such good pork, like my family's? Do you know how difficult it was to raise such a big fat pig? Shut up when you've got something to eat. No one will treat you as a mute when you don't talk. Lin Qing, he gave her no respect. Wang Ling's face blackened. Lin Qing, he shot a humorless smile. Whether it was fighting or quarreling, she was not afraid. If she got ability, then come. Truthfully, Wang Ling didn't dare to go up, so she turned around and talked to second sister-in-law. Second sister-in-law glimpsed at Lin Qing he. Lin Qing he paid no heed to her. Once Zhou Qing Bai was allocated with the meat, she followed him back with De Hua, Er Hua and San Hua. Mother, this year our family got so much pork, can we make meatballs? De Hua asked. Er Hua looked expectantly at his mother. He still remembered the delicious fried meatballs that were made last year. Sanwa was young, but he knew from his eldest brother and second brother's desire, it was yummy. So he turned to his mother, mother, meatball. All right. Lin Qing, he was in a good mood and agreed at once. Just meatballs, not a big deal? Want to eat, then let's eat, since there was so much meat at home. After returning home, Lin Qing, he sent Zhou Qing Bai to clean up the pig's intestines. These things were what he wanted to eat. She couldn't bear the smell, so she only promised to make it, but for the cleaning, he can do it himself. She also got him to clean the stomach as well. Lin Qing, he began to sort the rest. She cut the pork fat into small pieces and then placed directly to the pan to start cooking lard. Even though it was only five jeans, they still got a lot of oil at home. What's more, she had mixed in some peanut oil, it was definitely enough. There was a lot of oil oozing out from the five jeans. While the fat was cooked, Lin Qing, he began to pour out large bones, pork belly, and lean meat. Although the weather is getting cold now and it was only the end of October on the lunar calendar, it can't stay fresh in the end, unlike meat distribution at the end of the year. That time, it can last longer. Because they were going to make meatballs, these meats were set aside. Ribs can be in soup or steamed or fried ribs. Big bones were used for boiling soup. The pork intestine outside will be fried with pickled veg. And there was also a huge pig head and stomach. In short, Lin Qing, he went all out. This time the autumn harvest was really exhausting. It went without saying that it was necessary to nourish Zhou Qing Bai. So in the next few days, unless Zhou Qing Bai had no appetite, he ate until he got a mouthful of oil. Probably due to be sated and the winter wheat has been planted, Zhou Qing Bai, who was idle and had nothing to do, used all his energy on Lin Qing, he at night as they were basically preparing for winter isolation. Zhou Xiaomei, who got a holiday break, saw her fourth sister-in-law's glamorous appearance and became all shy. Who knew what was going through her mind? What are you doing on this return? Are you going to get married? Lin Qing, he raised her eyebrows and said to her. Now that my father and mother are free, I came back to let my parents know and then settle on a time. Zhou Xiaomei was embarrassed, but that didn't hold back the spring aura. Great ah. Go tell father and mother. They should be delighted. Su De Lin is a good man. Lin Qing, he expressed. After then, she had met and conversed with him a few times. Su De Lin won't go wrong, he knows how to live well. En, then I'll go back first. Zhou Xiaomei said. Take this plate of meatballs back. Adding a dish for you. Remember to bring the plate back. Lin Qing, he gave her a plate of meatballs, and said. Thank you fourth sister-in-law. Zhou Xiaomei grinned as she received it. Chapter 93, Shoulder Throw, this time, Zhou Xiaomei came back to help Su De Lin pass the message, he intends to come over to meet her parents. Then, find a prosperous day to hold the wedding, like this, they'll be married. 
marrying was so fast in this era. Once a mutual connection formed, they can get married the next day. Everything else was simple. Of course, even if they wanted something complicated, there was none. Lin Qing, he was already prepared, while the old Lin Zhou family was preparing for separation recently. Zhou Xiaomei's matter came at a perfect time. Father Zhou and Mother Zhou decided to wait until they marry off their youngest daughter, and then they separate the family. Su De Lin came over the next day along with De Lin's Jiao and aunt. They had prepared adequate gifts. There was sugar, snacks, and the likes. In short, it was decent for this meeting and had the intention to place importance here. If not, they would not prepare such a good gift. Although Father Zhou and Mother Zhou felt that Su De Lin's stuttering was not a good point, the two of them had self-awareness, knowing if it was not this shortcoming, how could their daughter marry to such a family? A 40-square home as well as a permanent job. Once married over, she was the matriarch. And the four major wedding presents were all sorted out. T slash N, four major household items that people wanted in the late 1950s radio, bicycle, sewing machine and watch, towards such marriage for Zhou Xiaomei, they didn't have much to say. The conditions were excellent. After Su De Lin and his Jiao and aunt left, Mother Zhou was overjoyed, no wonder De Wa's mother said this marriage is top-notch. This marriage is really superb. Only have some stuttering, Zhou father said. What's wrong with stuttering? It's not he's mute. What's more, the most important thing in life is to make money, the rest is nothing. Mother Zhou retorted. All in all, this marriage was settled, at the end of this month. Although Lin Qing, he had witnessed the speed of people getting married in this era, she was still shocked by the speed. The next step was the dowry. Lin Qing, he returned from the county city that day with a brand new quilt. She had already prearranged the cotton and ordered it. Although it was only five jeans, it was a quality new quilt. I'm giving this new quilt to Guzi as a dowry. These two soaps were also prepared for her. When the time comes, let her take them together. Lin Qing, he cycled to old Zhou's house and directly gave Mother Zhou the quilt and the soap she has taken from her space as she explained. No need for so much. Mother Zhou didn't expect that she would give so many things to Xiaomei for her marriage, said. Whether it was the quilt or these two soaps that were not cheap at first glance, they were excellent goods. It's a bit much. Eldest sister-in-law remarked with slight unease. How can we compare with Dewa's mother? What kind of living condition she has and what kind is our, said second sister-in-law. Third sister-in-law remained silent. Lin Qing, he solemnly glanced at third sister-in-law, if you have something to talk about, then talk. Don't cover it all in sour air. If you have the ability, ask your man to earn for you to spend. If you don't have the ability, shut up. Second sister-in-law's face sank, saying, fourth's wife, how can you speak like this? No matter how I speak, it's still human's word, which some people's dog mouth can't even vomit out decent sound and can't even speak human words. Lin Qing, he swept her a contemptuous gaze. Do you want to fight? Second sister-in-law pushed her without hesitation. It was apparent that second sister-in-law had enough of Lin Qing he. Mother, eldest sister-in-law, third sister-in-law, you saw it right? It was second sister-in-law who hit me first. Once Lin Qing, he finished the sentence, she flipped second sister-in-law over the shoulder onto the ground. Boom. The ground resounded. All the women in the whole house were stunned. Not to mention them, even Father Zhou, who was smoking a big cigarette, was also taken aback. Mother Zhou's expression displayed bewilderment, while eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law were startled. Ayo, it hurts like hell. Fourth's wife, do you want to kill someone? Second sister-in-law laid on the ground moaning. With every hum, her body ached. She can't even get up on her own. I'm giving you face by calling you second sister-in-law. And you really paraded around? Don't you know how many genes you are? Is Zhou Qing Bai's woman someone you can push around? Lin Qing, he domineeringly gazed at her. 
Hurry, hurry up and support Second's wife up. Mother Zhou regained her mind and uttered hastily. Eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law had also just recovered, so they quickly helped second sister-in-law up. Mother Zhou ordered, support her back, to her room. With this, the two sisters-in-law carried second sister-in-law back. Lin Qing, he paid no mind to this. Don't just say second sister-in-law had tolerated her for a long time, she too had endured second sister-in-law. This time, she dared to move her hand first, would she still be polite to her? Take action when she should. When the two sisters-in-law came back, Lin Qinghe continued on the previous matter with Mother Zhou and the two of them, Mother, this is for Guzi's marriage, I will leave it here. As for eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law, you don't need to copy me. Xiao Meng knows what each family's situation is like. The intention is enough. I've seen Xiao Mei's new house over there. Everything is complete. At the end of the month, everyone joyfully sends Guzi off to her marriage. Don't get upset over this marriage gifts. Having said this, Lin Qing, he went back in a very good mood. Cough, is Second's wife fine? Only then, Mother Zhou turned to the two sisters-in-law. She's fine. Just some ache, answered third sister-in-law. Chapter 94, Can't Win the Argument Nor the Fight Mother Zhou Shot a Glare at Father Zhou. Don't mind them. I think this quilt is brand new. Father Zhou examined the new quilt. Mother Zhou's attention shifted to this, it's newly made. Really thoughtful. Then whispered, old man, how much box fund do you intend to give Xiao Mei? You decide. Father Zhou said. Then give fifty? Mother Zhou replied. Isn't that a bit little? Father Zhou blankly stared at her. Mother Zhou responded, what little? She and Alin both have jobs. They can make a lot of money every month. In the end, only a bit was divided to the family. Her work didn't bring much back, how much do you expect? That side gave the four major gifts, Zhou father pointed out. Keep the bicycle at home and send everything else back with her. At that time, there's be this quilt, soaps, hot water bottle, and the likes. Mother Zhou stated. Father Zhou had no comment. Mother Zhou said in a small voice, we still need to save money for De Wa, Er Wa, and San Wa's marriage. Look how De Wa's mother extravagantly splurge. They can't save much. What should to do when the boys marry? At this, Father Zhou still said nothing. It was true that his daughter has no shortage over there. Then leave it for De Wa and his brothers. The old couple neglected second sister-in-law. After all, she was the one who started the fight first. Everyone saw her pushing fourth's wife first. Who can she blame when she got thrown? But how could second sister-in-law be willing to leave it like this? Second brother came back from the outside and saw her lying on the Kong as she groaned in pain. Why are you crying out for? Second brother asked. Damn you. Your wife nearly got beaten to death and where did you run off to? Second sister-in-law yelled at once. Second brother was shocked, got beaten. Who dared to beat you? Second sister-in-law gritted her teeth as she uttered, it was that fourth's wife. Lin Qing, he beat me. You got to be kidding me. Second brother frowned, how can you not win against her? With her dainty appearance, does she know how to fight? Two of your push is enough. Second sister-in-law was so vexed, whose side are you on? I was beaten by Lin Qing he. Father, mother, and the other sisters-in-law saw it with their own eyes. If you don't believe me, you can ask them. I'm telling you, Zhou Qing Lin, this matter between Lin Qing He and I ain't over. If your old Lin Zhou family doesn't hold her accountable, then I will go back to my maternal house to find my brothers. My brothers won't agree to me getting beaten. Second brother frowned. He came out and asked eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law, eldest sister-in-law, third sister-in-law, what happened? Sandy's mother is making a ruckus to go back to her mother's house. Speaking truthfully, on this matter, it was Sandy's mother who shoved Dewa's mother first. 
eldest sister-in-law answered honestly. Father and mother were all present at the time. Third second sister-in-law pushed Dewa's mother first, and then Dewa's mother threw her over the shoulder. Third sister-in-law added. Over the shoulder? Second brother was taken aback. Probably taught by the fourth brother-in-law, replied third sister-in-law. What? Is your wife throwing a tantrum? At this time, Mother Zhou came out of the room and looked at second brother. Mother, San Ni's mother is currently making a scene, wanting to go back to her maternal house to find her brothers to come over to give her justice. Second brother hastily explained. All right, go back then. Let's see if my old Zhou family is easy to bully. Go, and go back for me now. When Mother Zhou heard this, her face became solemn and shouted toward second sister-in-law's room. Mother, I've been beaten like this and you're still partial to her. Are we not your daughters-in-law? Second sister-in-law angrily talked back. I'll ask you then. On today's matter of you receiving a shoulder throw, who was the one who moved their mouth first? Who wanted to move their hand today? Mother Zhou Mu questioned. Second sister-in-law was silent. Let alone getting old second to cause a scene, even if you go find those brothers from your old Chin family, I can get them to return with their tail between their legs. You spoke first. You also moved first. You can't beat her with your tongue, you use your hand. You can't win with your hand, you still feel you're in the right? If you are discontent, then pack your things and go back to your old Chen's house. Let your old mother come talk to me. I want to ask her how she teaches her daughter. Mother Zhou reprimanded at that side, second sister-in-law dared not to speak. Go back, keep a good eye on your wife. All day long, she wagged her tongue and no growth in other aspects can be seen. Mother Zhou also targeted second brother. Second brother fleed into his room in disgrace. He disgruntledly vented. What are you doing when it's your fault? You made me get scolded by mother. Second sister-in-law angrily turned around to cry. There's no justice. She was the one who got beaten, and it was still her fault. Lin Ching, he, on the other hand, was ready for second sister-in-law to come to find fault with her maternal family. But no one came after she waited for the whole afternoon. Judging by the looks of it, it was suppressed by mother Zhou. Lin Qing, he sent Zhou Qing Bai off to get firewood the next day. Although their household was allocated a lot of burning material this year, they weren't adequate, so more firewood was needed. It was easy to ride a bicycle over and come back with a load or two. Because Zhou Qing Bai was at home, naturally, Zhou Dong was no longer needed. This year, Zhou Dong and Zhou Shi also gained a lot of food. It was enough to eat. Zhou Qingbai was still clueless about his wife beating someone up, but there was indeed a shortage of firewood at home, so he went out to work after lunch. Lin Qing, he started steaming sweet potatoes to prepare to make sweet potato mantu. This time, there were a lot of sweet potatoes at home. Perfect for sweet potato mantu. Nowadays, it was getting colder and colder each day and today it had increased a bit. Chapter 95 Bridal Return Zhou Qing Bai returned after 1 o'clock in the afternoon with a full load of firewood, which was at least 4 or 5 bundles. You should be hungry. Hurry in and eat. I will heat it up for you. Lin Qing, he said. Taking advantage of these days, I will get more back. Zhou Qing Bai nodded. With a bike, he brought back so many. It was almost sufficient after a few more trips, so Lin Qing, he gave no objection. She warmed up the buns and the side dishes. While Lin Qing, he warmed his meals, he put the firewood in the backyard, so Lin Qing, he didn't have to do it later. Zhou Qing Bai was indeed starving and with his appetite already large, he wiped clean everything Lin Qing, he heated up. Go rest a bit. There's nothing left to do at home. Lin Qing, he urged. Zhou Qing Bai agreed. He still didn't know about his wife's fight. It was when he was about to go out the next day to get firewood, he got blocked by second brother and heard his grumbling, did he found out. 
I didn't know about this matter yet, so I can't give you any explanations. We'll talk about it when I come back. Zhou Qingbai finished and hopped on the bike. When he came back in the afternoon, he asked his wife while he was washing his face. What? He dares to come and complain to you? It was she who first moved her mouth. She also struck out first. Still, dare to complain? Lin Qing, he sneered. She hit you? Zhou Qingbai asked. Lin Qing, he noticed his focus was on that part and was immediately healed. She beamed, I'm fine. She just shoved me a bit and got thrown by me. Then added, at that time, father, mother, and the other two sisters-in-law were there. I have a lot of witnesses on this matter. Even if her old Chen family comes over, I can beat them away. Zhou Qingbai nodded and stated, if they really dare to come over, you don't need to take action. Lin Qing, he got his meaning and shot a grin at him. Zhou Qingbai returned a soft gaze, said, in the future, tell me about these matters straight away. I won't be angry. Okay. Lin Qing, he nodded and continued, actually, I haven't taken this seriously. She has endured me for a long time. I also find her displeasing for a long time. The day before yesterday's fight was actually quite refreshing. Zhou Qingbai. This time, his gaze toward his wife was a bit helpless. Zhou Qingbai knew that his wife couldn't be blamed for this matter, so naturally, he ignored second brother. On this matter, second brother only came over to grumble. In fact, he wanted to express was out of all things, why did you have to teach your wife how to fight? However, before this main point was finished, it was dismissed by Zhou Qingbai. With this, it was over. Zhou Qingbai had been busy working these few days. He had prepared all the firewood that his family needs for winter. Once he finished, and it snowed. What's more? A lot got accumulated on the ground. At the end of November, Zhou Xiaomei got married. The whole family sent her off. Because it was too cold and the snow was still falling, everything was simple. Out of the wedding gifts, a bicycle remained. The others were displayed for a bit before gifting it back. The banquet was also held at the in-laws' place. Zhou Qingbai and his brothers had went over, while Lin Qing, he, and the children didn't attend. Zhou Xiaomei really liked the quilt and two pieces of soap that Lin Qing, he had gifted, especially two pieces of soap. Whoever used it, knew how effective and how fragrant it was. Eldest sister-in-law gifted a pair of enamel cups, while third sister-in-law sent two towels. As for second sister-in-law really buttoned up, she didn't give anything at all. No one criticized her, they didn't want to cause any unpleasantness for such a small thing. After all, it made no difference whether it was included or not. Three days later, Zhou Xiaomei came back with Su Dalin. They brought back return gifts for the three families. Lin Qing, he sighed, received a jar of malted milk powder and two bags of white rabbit candy. They had dropped the things here first, before heading back to her maternal home. Eldest sister-in-law and third sister-in-law each got a pack of white rabbit candy. And second sister-in-law, she received nothing. Zhou Xiaomei wasn't one to be courteous. Among the sisters-in-law, who treated her well and who didn't take her seriously, she was very clear. For example, this second sister-in-law. Since she wasn't even bothered to give a little dowry, then she won't give any respect to her. In fact, Zhou Xiaomei knew that her fourth sister-in-law had the best living condition. She had no expectation for the other three sisters-in-law, it was more or less the intention they conveyed. For example, eldest sister-in-law's enamel cups and third sister-in-law's towels. They were not worth much money, but it was the thought that counts, right? She didn't give anything, so why would she prepare her a return gift? Even when Su Dalin said it was for the better, she maintained her stance. After visiting the old Zhou's house, Zhou Xiaomei brought Su Dalin to her fourth brother and fourth sister-in-law's house. Su Dalin conversed with Zhou Qingbai in the hall, while Lin Qing, he went into the room with Zhou Xiaomei. Judging by your appearance, you got moisturized pretty well. Your complexion is white and rosy. 
Once they entered the door, Lin Ching he opened a perverted topic. Causing Zhou Xiaomei, who recently married and became a woman, to blush severely. To the main point, is Da Wa's young Guzhang good to you? Lin Ching, he asked in a low voice. He treats me pretty well. Zhou Xiaomei answered with a flushed face. That's good, I can rest assured then. Lin Ching, he expressed with satisfaction, now it's cold these days. You are burning coal there, so better pay attention to ventilation. N, De Lin understand these. Zhou Xiaoming nodded. Just now, I saw there was a little dispute when you two came over. Why? Lin Qing, he asked. It's about second sister-in-law. She was speaking like riddles when we went over. When I got married, she didn't prepare anything for me. Her hands were empty-handed, so I returned the favor to her. De Lin said it's not good to act like this, and I retorted a bit to him. Zhou Xiaomei explained. Lin Qing has smiled, De Wa's Guzhang is too kind-hearted. He is, but I'm not. She deserved the beating from fourth sister-in-law last time. Her mouth is harsher than before. Zhou Xiaomei snorted. Can't be bothered with her da, it's not like the world won't spin without her. Lin Qing, he said. Fourth sister-in-law, I feel very blessed now. Zhou Xiaomei beamed again. Lin Qing, he grinned and advised, both of you have jobs. From now on, save a bit and see if you can save us some of money to buy a bigger house. He has saved some. Zhou Xiaomei mentioned shyly. It's only right to save some, but he also spent a lot of money in order for you to marry him splendidly. So, save a little in the future. I am also saving money now. If I can buy a house, I will buy one in the city. Lin Qing, he said. Fourth sister-in-law, you plan to buy a house in the city? Zhou Xiaomei looked at her. In the current situation, can't buy one. Once we move there, there's no work. I'm saving it for future use. Lin Qing, he replied. Will the situation be better in the future? Zhou Xiaomei was taken aback. People have to learn to see the bright side. If we don't have money in our hands, even if the situation improves in the future, we won't be able to have a chance. If we have savings in our hands, we will buy it if able to then. Lin Qing, he explained. And, I'll listen to you, fourth sister-in-law, and save money. Zhou Xiaoming nodded. Now on these cold days, don't touch the cold water on the normal circumstance. Pay attention to your period. I estimate you'll be pregnant soon. Lin Qing, he suggested. Zhou Xiaomei blushed again. Chapter 96, Birth a Daughter, they had lunch at their house. Lin Qing, he wasn't a miser, she served our a few solid dishes. The table was completely harmonious. When Su De Lin cycled Zhou Xiaomei back, he stuttered as he spoke, for, fourth brother, and, fourth sister-in-law, are very nice. Zhou Xiaomei hugged his waist with a sweet expression, that's for sure. De Lin, my fourth sister-in-law, told me that we need to save a bit. There's a chance we'll be able to buy a big house to live in. Su De Lin agreed. Although he spent a lot of time marrying his wife this time, he still has more than a thousand yuans in his saving. This family was definitely quite rich in this era. The husband and wife returned home, while on Lin Qinghe's side, a couple discussion was happening. Although it's a little stuttering, as long as he treats Xiao Mei with all his heart, there's basically no problem. Lin Qing, he told Zhou Qingbai. N. Zhou Qingbai acknowledged. Toward this Meifu, Su Dalin, he had no prejudice. What's more, as a person, he was great. Eldest Gu Jia and second Gu Jia had no time to return when Xiao Mei married. They will probably return on the second day of the new year. Lin Qing, he said. This time, Zhou Xiaomei got married, the oldest Guzi, Zhou Xiaowan, and the second Guzi, Zhou Xiaoju, did not return. Zhou Xiaowan had caught a cold this time, and it was severe. However, she did get her husband to send five yuan as a dowry gift. It counted as her blessing. Because of her mother-in-law catching a severe cold, 
Zhou Xiaojiu had no choice but to stay behind and care for her as her husband was the only child. She also got her husband to deliver the five yuans to express her thoughts. This eldest Gu Jia and second Gu Jia were the two eldest sisters, older than eldest brother. If men and women were counted together, eldest brother would rank third. However, they don't mix it together over here. They ranked men only their own, same with the women. Want to go to the county city? Zhou Qingbai understood his wife and looked at her. Rather than the second day of New Year, it'll be the same to go on the third day. Lin Qing, he decided. If Zhou Xiaomei wanted to visit, then they must stay this year. As for eldest Gu Jia and second Gu Jia, it didn't matter, because Lin Qing he was not very familiar with them. Then Lin Qing, he went over last year's photos. Da Hua, Er Hua, and San Hua all gathered around to look together. They liked their own photos. Mother, can we still take a picture during this year's trip to the county city? De Hua gazed expectantly at his mother. Take it, mother? Erwa also looked hopefully at his mother. Want photos? Sanwa nodded. Lin Qing, he nodded, since you behaved very well this year, we can take picture for another year. The three children cheered. In the evening, Lin Qing, he was still gazing at the photos. After she had her fill of being vain, she admired Zhou Qing Bai's. Zhou Qingbai's picture was also very serious. Even though Lin Qing, he requested him to look softer, he still didn't smile. From the looks of it, that was the kind of man he was. Just black photo frames, otherwise I will put them all into a photo frame. Lin Qing, he remarked. Zhou Qingbai's eyebrows were soft and spoke, I can ask the carpenter to make some. Lin Qing, he changed her mind again, forget it, leave it to the future. Taking pictures once every year, we'll have a lot of them accumulated. Better to not take up space. Zhou Qingbai left it up to her. It snowed. There basically no activity. Zhou Qingbai carried back two little piglets to raise. Lin Qing, he pondered on food every day. Chapter 97, by Mutton, exchange meat coupon week or not, don't you know the best? Zhou Qingbai smirked and covered her lips. After a while, Lin Qing, he became disoriented. He was more and more like an experienced driver. She was not his opponent at all. Lin Qing, he, could only gasp out, be gentler. Afterward, she had no time to speak. As expected, that evening Zhou Qingbai was sated once again. The next day Lin Qing, he got up long after 8 o'clock. Lin Qing, he was very emotional about her present days. This was simply too extravagant. After a simple breakfast, Lin Qing, he rode over to Meijia. Now the collection location was switched to Meijia's house. She didn't need to go to the slaughterhouse anymore, because she disdained the freezing weather and thought of not doing it. Meijia was unwilling to cut off this source of income. Now that she had become unemployed, she was relying on this method. She said she'll go get the goods, and then she, LQH, can go over to her home to collect it. Needless to say, Lin Qing, he agreed. The truth was there wasn't much meat coming in. At most, it was five or six jeans, and when it was less, it was only two or three jeans. It can't earn much. But even if it was only seven or eight yuan a month, it was still very important to Mei Jia. Still haven't received notification about your return to work? Lin Qing, he asked Mei Jia. Not yet. Need to wait until there's a vacancy. Mei Jia confirmed. After giving the meat to Lin Qing, he, Lin Qing, he settled the transaction with her. Mei Jia got the money and mentioned with a smile, Do you want honey? My eldest brother foraged it in the mountain before the snow fell. He gave me two jars. I didn't eat it. Seeing how you like it, take it back. Lin Qing, his eyes brightened and said, then I'll take both jars of honey. However, I need to give money. If Mei Jia doesn't take the money, then I won't accept it and go directly to the supply and demand cooperative. Mei Jia went inside and brought out the two jars of honey, said, you don't have to be courteous with me. 
Just take it. I have to pay. Mei Jia, don't fight with me. Lin Qing, he pushed out the bike, hopped on the bike with the two jars of honey, and stuffed the money to Mei Jia. It was according to the supply and demand cooperative's price. It was not cheap, but in Lin Qing, he's opinion, it was great value to buy these two jars of wild honey with this amount of money. Earlier she bought a can, but that one only had half left. Every night, after finishing things with Zhou Qing Bai, they have to drink a cup. Cough, it was still necessary even without doing it. So it was consumed quickly. She brought the two jars of honey and pork home. It was now mid-December. The last meat distribution for this year was on the 25th of December. For the whole year of this year, her family had no shortage of meat. For example, after the winter wheat was planted last time, her family was allocated a lot and they ate it for several days before they used it up. They had it in a variety of ways. Two pots of honey were put inside the top of the cupboard. The adults can grab it as soon as they reached out, while the children could not see anything on it. I'm going out tomorrow to see if there is any lamb. Zhou Qingbai watched her come back and stated. All right. If there is any, get more lamb chops slash I like to eat that. Lin Qing, he hurriedly interjected when she heard him. Zhou Qingbai nodded. Toward his wife's meat business, he didn't intervene much. It was a bit questionable. But as soon as he heard that his wife said she had a client and the meat she got was immediately changed hand, he didn't stick into her business. So Zhou Qingbai understood why she came back so quickly. In fact, it was all down to his trust in his wife. The next day, Zhou Qingbai went out to bring mutton back to eat. Lin Qing, he brewed a mutton soup. Only goji berry and red dates were inside. The mutton soup was very flavorful. Of course, Father Zhou and Mother Zhou weren't omitted from such a good thing. Approximately a bowl for each person was delivered, accompanied by some small chunks of lamb. Which was also very delicious. Mutton initially had a unique odor, but Lin Qing, he knew how to handle it. Since the mutton soup had no stale taste, the two of them liked it old Zhou family had separated now. After Zhou, Xiao Mei's bridal return, Father Zhou and Mother Zhou presided over the family division. Each family was allocated a hundred yuans. The other furniture and the food were all divided too. Whoever owned whatever in the house was clearly stated. However, cooking was still done in the kitchen. When one family finished, the other cooks. Father Zhou and Mother Zhou handle their own cooking. As for the matter of old age care, a certain amount of food supplies were given each season, so which family's turn it was, they give. It must be clearly stated on the first day. This was discussed between Zhou Qingbai and his brothers. Father Zhou and Mother Zhou drinking lamb soup and eating mutton had second sister-in-law's son Zhou Xia craving. When he returned, he asked his mother, Mother, when will our family eat meat? The meat will be divided in ten days. What you anxious for? I will make dumplings for you. Second sister-in-law replied. Second brother was feeling greedy and suggested, should we go buy the meat first? You have a meat coupon? Disgruntled, second sister-in-law uttered. Rural people do not get meat coupons and food coupons. Only those in the city did. Chapter 98 Why is she still not pregnant? You shouldn't have. Hearing Lin Qing, he said this, second brother was tempted. At this time, there was indeed no meat. If he wanted it, he'll have check early in the morning. It's nothing. Lin Qing, he can see his desire to get meat, so she got up and entered the kitchen. The meat that Zhou Qingbai brought back was good quality, the traditional pork belly. There were approximately two three jeans. Lin Qing, he cut a jean out. She had been to the black market in the city long enough to tell the approximate portion. After sharing a jean of pork belly, second brother, the money was naturally collected according to the price on the black market. Still, second brother returned in a merry mood. If he had exchanged money for a meat coupon and then go over to buy meat, 
the price can be a little more expensive than buying meat on the black market, so it was better price-wise to directly exchange meat at the black market price. And not just anyone dared to go to the black market. Seeing that he brought the meat back, second sister-in-law was stunned. Dewa's mother cut it out. Second brother gave her the remaining money. Why did it cost so much? Second sister-in-law saw how little money was and gritted out. Baffled, second brother uttered, what so much? From the beginning, that money was enough for a gene of meat. We still have change left. She went according to the black market's price? Second sister-in-law persisted in discontent. It was bought by Ching Bai with much trouble. It's because Dewa's mother heard that Xia Xia was craving for meat, she divided some for me. If our family went to buy it instead, not only do I have to travel so far, I might even be able to buy it. What's more, Old Fourth bought the meat at the black market price, it goes without saying we have to follow that price. What, you want to get Old Fourth to give it to you cheaper? Second brother threw a glance at her as he spoke. His wife gave him a daggered gaze. Fine. Let's not argue on this anymore. Hurry, make dumplings. This is a quality pork belly. If we weren't brothers, Old Fourth wouldn't have given this to me. Second brother did not want to quarrel with her, said. The money was already spent, second sister-in-law can't really keep complaining, so she made dumplings and had it. The family of five had eaten to their heart's content. Being able to have dumplings, even made second sister-in-law, closed her mouth and refrained from commenting. They did get meat allocated to them last time, but the family had not split yet. How much could each person possibly eat? This time she put half a gene of meat into the dumplings, and it was delicious. For the remaining half, they'll take their time consuming it. Second branch got a taste of meat, which was exchanged with fourth branch by old second. Eldest sister-in-law had a sarcastic expression, while third sister-in-law sneered coldly. She whispered to third brother in private, she just had a fight last time and still embarrassed to exchange the meat. Her face is so big. How about our family go to exchange too? Third brother's focus was on elsewhere. He wanted to eat meat too. Third sister-in-law disapprovingly remarked, eat what? In a while, the meat will be divided. What's wrong with eating it then? Well, you pregnant are now. You should eat some meat. Third brother Wednesday grinned. That's right, it was almost a year after Zhou Dong Dong's birth and she became pregnant again. After giving birth to Wu and I, it took a few years before she had Zhou Dong Dong. To her surprise, she was pregnant again and was a month along. Because her period hadn't come, she was sure of it. There was no need to go to the health center, she will know when she waits for the next month. But basically, it was certain. Lin Qing, he didn't know yet. It was when she went over on the 25th for the meat distribution and bumped into third sister-in-law, she heard about it. Shock wasn't enough to describe Lin Qing he's expression, you are too fast. How long has it been? She felt Dong Dong had just been born and she was pregnant again. Third sister-in-law laughed, it's nothing. You should be soon? Lin Qing, he looked horrified and said, what soon? I have no plans to give birth again. I have three sons. For the rural people, three sons was enough to say birth, no more and their confidence was absolutely sufficient. Third sister-in-law said nothing then. This time, Lin Qing he and Zhou Qing Bai got allocated a lot but in the end it wasn't her family's pigs. The oil content was as thick as her family's pigs. Once they got their share distributed, Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai returned home with their boys. Third sister-in-law is pregnant again? Zhou Qing Bai asked when he came home. He had just heard this. Because it was a conversation between women, he didn't hear the later part and walked away a bit. So he didn't hear Lin Qing, he say, not giving birth anymore. Lin Qing, he nodded and said, I was also taken by surprise. She just gave birth to Dong Dong last year and was pregnant again this year. But this wasn't the only case. 
In Jojia village, there seems to be the same for many people and were pregnant. Especially since the beginning of winter isolation, there seems to be good news for many people one after another. For example, the next door Huang Danyang's daughter-in-law had a newborn last year and bought two genes of brown sugar last year. She was pregnant again. Such a good thing, what is there to be surprised about? Zhou Qingbai glanced at her. Lin Qing, he met his eyes and understood what he meant. She coughed and changed the subject, how do you want to eat these pork? You decide. Zhou Qingbai replied. However, having a child matter was obviously not something Lin Qing, he can avoid. Once the children went to bed at night, Zhou Qingbai had an in-depth discussion with her before saying, give birth more, our family can afford it. Lin Qing, he expressed in her mind that she wouldn't give birth, but she was also a little puzzled. She and Zhou Qingbai had never used protection. Why hadn't she been pregnant after so long? She had experienced his capability, so this brave and powerful man can easily make a woman pregnant. Why wasn't she pregnant yet? If she did get pregnant, should she have the baby? This thought was terrifying. She won't ever give birth. She planned to go to the hospital in the city next time to get him protection, otherwise, if she was pregnant, what should she do? However, did she forget anything? Why hadn't she got pregnant after so long? Huh? Zhou Qingbai moved after waiting a long time for his wife to respond. Lin Qing, he blushed and said, the fate hasn't arrived yet? Zhou Qingbai accepted this explanation and pulled his wife for another round. It until Lin Qing, he was exhausted, did he let her go? Lin Qing had thought before going to sleep that she would go to the city to buy condoms tomorrow and absolutely won't get pregnant. It was a pity it snowed heavily after she planned this and couldn't go. Because the weather was too cold, Lin Qing, he stayed huddled on the Kong. She simply recited and studied the books on Kong. Like this, time passed. There was nothing to do on days like this. They didn't go out. With such heavy snow, why go out? However, on the evening of December 29th, third brother Lin came with a hare. His face was severely frozen when he arrived, which indicated he caught it much trouble and sent it here. Such large snowfall, you still go out to catch rabbits? Lin Qing, he glared at him. Chapter 99 Giving New Year's Greeting to Aunt As Promised Last Month I will change the Chinese terms to English from now on. In my opinion, it's still all confusing even without the new Chinese terms. This sister-in-law is talking about her sister-in-law, who was the sister to her husband. There are too many in-laws and sisters. Cause Lin Qing, he is the third daughter of Lin family, aka also third sister-in-law to the daughter-in-law of Lin family, and third brother's wife, called third sister-in-law Lin. Just one word extra, but still easy to misread. To make it slightly easier, the woman married into that family is the sister-in-law and the daughter of that family is just sister. Vice versa with guys born in that family, its brother, married to that family's sister is brother-in-law. Anyone have a better suggestion? Chapter 99 Giving New Year's greeting to aunt it's no problem. Third brother Lin smiled and handed her the rabbit, sister, for you. I'll go back now. What for me? Take it back for yourself to eat. Lin Qing, he quickly took it to him and said. I got this for you, sister. This year, it was thanks to the meat sister gave me, my wife was able to have postnatal confinement. Third brother Lin maintained. No need to thanks. Lin Qing, he said, and then continued, come in first. Zhou Qingbai took his boys over to Father Zhou and Mother Zhou, so they weren't home. It was just her and Fei Ying. Fei Ying swept a glimpse at third brother Lin. Since he was brought in by Lin Qing, he, he was not hostile. Down this now. Lin Qing, he poured a large glass of ginger and red date tea and ordered. This was cooked and drunk at home routinely, and the effect was quite good. Third brother Lin drank it and his body warmed up. On this cold day, why aren't you wearing more? 
Lin Qing, he dug through the room and pulled out Zhou Qing Bai's old sweater. This was bought by him. It was certainly old now. He didn't wear it much, since Lin Qing, he knitted him a brand new one last year, and he was wearing that vest now. This was, is your brother-in-law's leftover. He didn't wear it anymore. It should be a little big for you, but it's still wearable. Hurry up, put it on. Lin Qing, he passed this sweater, to third brother Lin, and ushered. Sister, no need. This is my brother-in-law's clothes. Third brother Lin hastily refused. He came here to send the rabbit, not to get something. I'm giving it to you, so wear it. With our current family condition, if we honestly could wear it, I won't have offered it to you. Lin Qing, he maintained. Third brother Lin still shook his head, don't want, don't want. Sister, don't give me brother-in-law's clothes, brother-in-law would probably quarrel with you when he comes back. Your sister makes all the decisions in this house. I listen to your sister too. At this time, Zhou Qingbai brought the boys back and interjected. Brother-in-law. Seeing him, third brother Lin greeted at once. Zhou Qingbai nodded. Da Wa, Er Wa, and San Wa all called out uncle. Third brother Lin smiled and acknowledged. I haven't seen you in this sweater since last year. It made no difference if we keep it or not. Give it to my brother? Lin Qing, he asked him. Zhou Qingbai remarked, would it be a bit too old? It depends on whether my brother disdains that or not. Lin Qing, he turned to third brother Lin. Third brother Lin shook his head, how can I disdain such a good sweater for being old? If you don't, then quickly change into it. Lin Qing, he instructed Da Wa, Da Wa, take your third uncle to your room to put it on. Uncle, come with me. Da Wa said. Listen to your sister. Zhou Qingbai also observed how really thin third brother Lin's clothes were, and urged. Only then, did third brother Lin went in with Da Wa to put on this sweater. He felt a whole lot warmer. Eating here tonight? Lin Qing, he asked, third brother Lin. Third brother Lin rapidly shook his head, no, no. I'll eat at home. If you want to go home and eat, then go home and eat. You take these buns. Heat it when you return and it'll be ready to eat. Lin Qing, he gave third brother Lin, three big buns. She made this the day before yesterday with Zhou Qing Bai and the boys. Whenever they were hungry, just steam it up, and then just add an additional soup. There was also a lot of mantu, all of which were ready to cook. No need to worry with this weather. No need. Third brother Lin shook his head. I'm telling you to take it, so take it. Lin Qing, he wrapped it in oil paper and stuffed it to him. Sister, will you go back this new year? Third brother asked her. Not going. I said it already, I'm cleanly breaking it off with those white-eyed wolves. Lin Qing, he waved her hand. Third brother San felt helpless, but he said nothing. Instead, he uttered, then I will come over with my wife this year? The first day or the second day is free. Lin Qing, he suggested. Then we will come here on the first, replied third brother Lin. Okay. Lin Qing, he gave him the answer. Third brother Lin, came back with three buns. Third sister-in-law Lin asked him, what were you doing today? It's freezing. I was out catching a rabbit. Third brother Lin laughed. Did you catch it? Third sister-in-law Lin responded. I did and sent it to my sister. Third brother Lin said. Third sister-in-law Lin froze for a moment and said nothing once she recovered. This year's postnatal confinement, she felt that she'll remember it for the rest of this life. If it weren't for this sister, who secluded herself from her maternal family, her second daughter wouldn't have a bite of an egg to eat. So this year, her family separated off. First branch and second branch didn't split, just her third branch. Naturally, life was hard because there wasn't much to items allocated to them. But even if there wasn't much, third sister-in-law, Lin, insisted on separating. She was fed up. She'll take control of her family. 
She'll eat what she wants and handle things how she wants, who dares to talk nonsense? Look what this is. Third brother Lin took out three large buns from his arms and grinned. Where did you get that? Third sister-in-law Lin's eyes lit up and asked. Third sister, gave it. Third brother Lin laughed. This answer was not unexpected. Third sister-in-law Lin sighed, I didn't expect that the third sister, who wouldn't even want to acknowledge her maternal family, would recognize you as her younger brother. In her last postnatal confinement, this third sister only gave eggs and pork ribs on the basis that he was her brother. This was something she kept in mind. If it was just her, there was no need to think about, third sister won't give any consideration because she didn't speak for third sister before. Third sister has always been kind to me. Third brother Lin gave the truth, and then lifted up his clothes, said, look, this sweater was given by brother-in-law. Third brother-in-law gave it? Brother Lin's wife couldn't help but touched it. The sweater was very warm. Although this sweater was Zhou Qing Bai's unwanted, there was nothing bad with it. It was because Lin Qing, he made a new one for him, he didn't wear it anymore. When third sister gave it to me, brother-in-law also saw it. Brother-in-law, let me wear it. Third brother Lin said, and then talked about visiting on New Year's Day. She doesn't plan to come back this year? Third sister-in-law was taken aback. Third sister, still holding the grudge, answered third brother Lin. Third sister-in-law Lin thought how she was still mad even after a year, then she really intends to not interact with her maternal family. However, third sister-in-law Lin didn't mind and said, this year we will bring Yuer and Xiangwer over to give their aunt a New Year greeting. She can tell that out of old Lin family, only third sister cared about her little family, even if it was due to her husband. But still, this relationship should not be broken. Third brother Lin nodded in acknowledgement. In the evening, the couple divided the three big buns with their two girls. It was eaten after heating it up a bit. The youngest daughter was still a baby, so it was soaked in the soup for her to eat. After a half, she was full. The eldest daughter devoured one by on her own. The remaining was for third brother Lin and third sister-in-law Lin. Naturally, it wasn't enough to eat. Somewhat full was enough, as they didn't need to work in winter isolation. They all had to tighten their belts during these days. Especially since his family had just separated off. It was impossible to get many shares of food. Chapter 100 Last day of 70 at home, Lin Qing, he was making braised rabbit meat and brought up third brother Lin to Zhou Qing Bai, say, what is up with my third brother? He's thinner than before? Naturally, Zhou Qing Bai didn't know, suggested, would you like to go back and see? Not going back. Lin Qing, he had no good impression from old Lin family. Last year, they gave her such a good excuse and broke it off outright without any hesitation. Zhou Qing Bai was helpless. Lin Qing, he didn't care about old Lin's family anymore. The braised rabbit meat is very aromatic to smell. Lin Qing, he was willing to add seasonings, so the rabbit meat was particularly pleasing to smell. Of course, Father Zhou and Mother won't miss out on such delicious food. Carry this dish to your father and mother. Remember to say that this is the rabbit meat sent by my third brother. He stayed outside for a day to catch it. Lin Qing, he handed a small dish to Zhou Qing Bai and instructed. This was to prevent them from assuming that she was supplementing her maternal family. She was not the original owner, so old Lin family better not think about benefiting from her at all. She only recognized her third brother. Even if her third brother sent such a rabbit today, she only gave three buns. It wasn't that she didn't want to give, it was due to the fact her third brother was now married beside being her brother, he too was a husband and father to others. So she didn't give too much, just three buns, to avoid nurturing his wife's appetite too much. Because when including the favor she did for the postnatal confinement last time, third sister-in-law should know to be content with even just three buns. This was how human relationships should be, with output, there was input. 
don't take it for granted as nothing in the world is rightly yours. However, she didn't know that the value of these three buns wasn't inferior to a rabbit. A bun of this large size would cost a few dimes. If one went to the city to buy it, they will need food coupons, otherwise, don't think about buying it. How many food coupons did one need for three? And there was really a lot of filling inside. Pork belly, eggs, and flour, these cost a lot of money. Don't forget the rest of the ingredients. Three delicious buns in one go, it wasn't stingy at all. Hearing his wife's words, Zhou Qingbai had a cold sweat. Still, when he sent it over, he mentioned that the rabbit was sent by his wife's third brother. Mother Zhou understood. Once her youngest son went back, Mother Zhou said, Last time I didn't say anything about Dewa's mother. Father Zhou expressed, Don't worry about that too much. Mother Zhou gave no response and quickly went to warm the pancakes. Then they ate the braised rabbit meat with the pancakes. The two of them couldn't have enough, because the taste was so scrumptious. From what I see, Old Fourth Side is doing pretty well. After such a busy year, I didn't see Old Fourth become sapped. He was well nourished by his wife. Father Zhou commented. He really felt that Fourth's wife's culinary skills were top-notch, with no complaints at all. From time to time, the meat dishes brought to them were all delectable. His son and grandsons were taken care of by her culinary, so how worst can they get? I didn't say she couldn't take care of Old Fourth and his boys. It just too money-consuming. Mother Zhou sighed. In terms of the ability to take care of their men and children, no one in Zhou Jia village can compare with Fourth's wife. What's more, her old husband was right. It seems that since Old Fourth had retired until now, he apparently became healthier. Not a hint of weakness could be seen. Same for Dewa and his brothers. Which one of them wasn't energetic? While we can still work, let them gather some savings. Zhou father stated. Mother Zhou nodded and didn't say anything. Apparently satisfied, she decided to drop it and let Fourth's wife do as she likes. The future marriage money for Dewa and his brothers, they'll secretly give it to them. They can't possibly let three grandsons become a bachelor, right? Unknown to Mother Zhou's thoughts, Lin Qing, he had a fulfilling dinner with Zhou Qing Bai and the boys. A shrimp skin soup and cornmeal mantu. With this delicious rabbit meat, the family ate until their heart's content. Father, when are we going to catch the rabbit? At the dinner table, Dewa munched on the rabbit's head as he asked, Where are you going on such a cold day? Lin Qing, he glared at him. There were chubby rabbits in the field during autumn harvest this year, but it ran too fast and father didn't catch them, Erwa mentioned. There were rabbits popping up during the autumn harvest and these rabbits bounced around and got away really fast. Even Zhou Qingbai hadn't caught one. Your father is exhausted to the bone during the harvest and you still want him to catch you a rabbit. Why don't you hunt one for your father to eat? Lin Qing, he directed to Er Hua. Aren't I still small? Once I grow up, I will definitely be able to catch it. Er Hua waffled. Then eat more and grow up quickly. Lin Qing, he brushed off. The wild rabbits were very agile. What's more, a wily rabbit had three burrows, so how can it be so easy to hunt? Each and every one of them were drained from the busy summer and autumn harvests. Chances of catching one was low. And one needs to be extremely lucky to catch one. Zhou Qingbai calmly ate meat as he enjoyed the favoritism from his wife. He went out the next day, but when he came back, his hands were empty. Rabbits were difficult to hunt. Luck and strength can't be lacking. With strength and no luck, it still won't do. Are you that bored on New Year's Eve? Does it feel great going up to the mountain and freeze yourself? Do we lack that bite of meat at home? Lin Qing, he nagged once he came back. Despite what she said, she didn't omit a single drop of ginger soup for him to drink. Today was the 30th of the 12th lunar month. Everyone was separated this year but they still adhered to tradition, have New Year's Eve dinner together. This was the last day of 70. 
As usual Lin Qing, he brought two solid dishes, a stewed meat and starch noodles, and meatballs. Two meat dishes were definitely passable. Especially meatballs, it was very tasty. The children like Zhou Yang loved to eat it. They stabbed it with their chopstick and bite into it. Each of them munched away happily. After the New Year's Eve dinner, the women started chatting, while the things were handed over to De Nai and Air Nai to clean up. Second sister-in-law didn't stay. She headed out at once. Lin Qing, he didn't fancy having her here after the last fight, she and second sister-in-law had bad blood. Second sister-in-law didn't dare to speak crap but also no longer spoke to Lin Qing he. Lin Qing, he simply ignored it. Just now, I noticed you have a bad appetite at dinner, what's wrong? Lin Qing, he asked, third sister-in-law. This baby is a naughty one, so my reaction is a bit big. Third sister-in-law felt helpless. Morning sickness? Lin Qing, he wondered. That's right. I heard it early in the morning. Eldest sister-in-law nodded. Lin Qing, he thought that it must be difficult. Even like this, Zhou Qing Bei's still wanted her to give him another daughter. This unfeeling man. Lin Qing, he decided to not let Zhou Qing Bai get close to her body. He must wait until she buys condoms first, otherwise, she couldn't imagine what she'll be like when she's pregnant. Can support us, completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story.